Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is David Palmer, The Leo King, and Rich Lop here for the Awakening Experience. Hope everybody's doing wonderful. We're here at the end of January of 2024 to talk about these crazy social media portals. Are they more than just a portal? There's a lot more to talk about tonight. I'm here, of course, with Mr. Rich Lop. What's going on, bro? What's up, man? What's up with you? You got married yesterday? I, I, you were there. You were my my star witness, brother. Fuck yeah, I got married. I'm super stoked. Fucking thank you for being there. It was Absolutely. awesome to have you and Leah there and some of my family and just we just are fucking so happy. So yeah, couldn't yeah. be happier. Yeah. Yeah. 2024 is going to be a big year. I say that and I beat that drum till my face turns blue. There's a lot <laughs> of changes, you know, and, in all aspects of life. But you know, when it comes to the whole exposure of everything, all this shit that we've been waiting on this, whole I know, time, you know, they are not, they're, they're not hesitating. They're hitting us with it. This is the last day of January. And and they're they're already coming in this hard. Now they're exposing social media, you know, for the child trafficking and all that. I know. I'm thinking my prediction is it's gonna lead up and lead up and lead up and start getting crazier and crazier. And if are now okay, so here's what I'm thinking, because I'm I'm kinda going with with what you were saying a few months back about how you're predicting things are gonna, gonna go real crazy in November. Well, that that's like the fucking like holy shit! All the shit of twenty twenty four that is being exposed hits its critical mass. Yeah, but I already feel that this this week, this new moon in Aquarius with the Chinese New Year, I, I actually gave an exact date. It's February twenty eighth into twenty ninth because we're having the leap year. But more importantly, when the Sun, Saturn, Mercury meet in Pisces, and there's a bunch of triggers I put up on there. That's going to be the first like. Like what, like what the fuck make more than what 2020 felt like. Oh, wow. Okay. More than what 2020 felt like. Oh, that's good. Cause they're warming us up to it. Cause <laughs> man, 2020, they, they dripped stuff in there and, you know, played around with, with what was to come and, you know, and then they smacked us with it and ripped the rug out from under us. And this year they're going hard, man. They got, they was up there grilling Mark Zuckerberg, dude. I know. Going after him. And, and again, I, well, I don't know. I don't know because this looks pretty damn convincing. If, if this, because like I, like I always look at everything that's going on from the perspective of, now I don't know exactly what, but I, I do hold the firm belief that a lot of this business was already taken care of. And we're seeing kind of like, they're putting on a movie, a lot of it, yeah. but you don't know what exactly. But this was looking pretty damn convincing. Like they were grilling him hard and. Yeah, they were grilling him hard. And I think the weird part to me was they definitely were there, but there were scenes of different angles when they would put up like, you know, an Instagram like thing to, to prove that they looked like they were on green screen, but then oh. there was shots of them there too. So it was really weird if people go look at all the content from the congressional hearing on the social media companies, like go look at Josh Hawley when he's speaking, go look at like Durbin when he's speaking, go look at a couple of them. They're obviously there because it's normal cameras, mm -hmm. but it was when they went to the side angle and whenever the fucking background people that are the, usually the fucking, you know, all the people that help out right in Congress. But that to me is like, are they really there? Like the, they, like, are they using a green? It was, it was, it's so weird. You can see their hair. You can see like, it's a fucking green screen. I've been noticing Biden too. I even put a picture up on X 
that he put up of him at a rally last week, all right? And you can see they superimposed him in front of a crowd of people, right? Yeah, yeah. So I put it in an AI fucking detector, the number one AI detector on fucking the internet, just any image. I took it straight off the social media of fucking Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. It fucking said AI. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then another one said 79%. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on right now? Well, th- this, you know what I mean? And also too, because you were showing me those Project Veritas uh, things that came out. Oh, that just dropped. That was huge. So, so now, because I'm sitting here thinking while I'm watching that, I'm like, okay, well, this dude who works with cybersecurity in the White House, um, is, is, is it possible that they could stage some things? Do you think any of that could be staged, possibly? I mean, possibly. I mean, it was interesting though, he came out with like what we were all thinking, but he also was talking about like what he hears. So he was like, yeah. he's involved with matters, but it's not like he's like directly hanging out with Biden. So it's like really interesting that it's more of like, he's in the white house. He's he's, but he, there was no direct connect to Biden literally, but that he is super high up in all that shit. He deals with the matters that get brought to him supposedly from Biden. But is he, well, is he seeing Biden? No. And that was the crazy part to me is like, there's all these people who feel like he's there, but they don't see him. Yeah. Well, that's fucking weird, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing that I'm thinking about, because if you, if you, I well, I don't know how much of this you saw, but like right after the election, the white house got boarded up. Nobody was allowed right. in or out. And there were a lot of people that I would follow on, you know, alternative platforms like when telegram started becoming big because they weren't censoring you know of witnesses on the ground saying the white house is boarded up dc is empty there's nobody there so i'm thinking that and now i'm thinking okay there's this dude that works in the white house when obviously it's already been shown that joe biden is not in the white house He's, well when they, when they say that he works for the executive branch and the white house has all these offices in the West Wing, right? Oh, okay. But like, I know what you're talking about. Like the actual like White House that we would, that where the president's quarters would be and the green room and the upstairs. And of course, wherever that the president's going to be, that's what I've seen. And you've also seen all those videos from up high fucking of all those fucking, they're not secret service. They're military pulling bodies out, <laughs> yep. doing weird shit. Mm-hmm. And in the middle of the night, fucking it's always at the middle of the night. Yep. Fucking, yep. Right. So something, something's fucking going on. Yeah. But the, the weird thing to me though, is like, you're right. This obviously felt planned. Like they just fucking went after fucking Zuckerberg fucking and then made him fucking apologize. Yeah. But it, but it's kind of interesting because it's like a year ago, they wouldn't be cu- talking about pedophilia and how yeah. fucking this shit fucking is going rampant everywhere and how, Instagram was advocating it and letting people search for it. And then that I fucking thought love Ted Cruz. Like what the fuck is this? Like, yeah, this, this is a, this is a warning that this is child fucking abuse, fucking visual pictures and video. Seek help if you need help with this or just look at it anyway. Yeah. And so he's the one that actually helped me and you. And we were watching this and talking about all this crazy shit. He's the one who's like, the cell phone's like a portal to like pedos. But then I was thinking of it as like social media now and what you look at and where you're at is a spiritual dimensional portal now that it's not just like a fantasy, like, oh, I'm going to go there. You're there now. Yeah. You will end up there because there's no more like, oh, I'm, I'm just like checking that out. Like people have to really now pay attention to the frequencies at the highest fucking levels, because if you just go down a doorway in your portaled phone, you're, you're there. Well, let let me, uh, you're there now spiritually. You're fucking in that dimension. Yeah. Let, let me dig up a neuroscience rabbit hole for you. Okay. I don't know if I, well, I think I talked about this on a couple of the, the videos I did on high vibe, but for the people who aren't on high vibe. Okay. So this is the neuroscience behind the manifestation process and how it works. And here's the analogy that I'm going to use. Imagine that me and you are at a house party. It's this big, loud, thumping party. And we're sitting in the living room having a conversation like this, talking back and forth. And there's 20 other conversations going on around us, and there's music thumping. Ooch, ooch, ooch. 
and you're zoned in on what I'm saying. So there's this part of your brain called the reticular activating system, and it's constantly scanning your surroundings at all times. And what it's doing in a situation like that is it's sweeping all of the unnecessary Ooh. information under the rug so that you won't be bombarded by sensory overload so that you can pay attention to what I'm saying. But in the middle of our conversation while I'm talking to you, through all the other conversations going on around us, through the music thumping, on the other side of the room, somebody mentions your name, and you hear that. You heard that. So how did your, how did your brain, that reticular activating system that's constantly scanning your surroundings, picked up on the fact that your name was mentioned right. because that part of your brain is trained for years and years and years. Whatever you repetitively train that part of your brain to focus on, it's going to pick up on it subconsciously. So this is why I say it's so important to program your social media algorithms because the, the stuff that you take in, you're programming your reticular activating system to pick up on that things that, that harmoniously resonate with what you're constantly focused on. Right and what's being put into your brain all the time. So back in the day, it was just with the TV. Whatever you sit and watch on TV all day long, you know, wars and crime and, and racism, wars, crime, and racism. So now your reticular activating system is looking for anything that resonates harmoniously with wars, crime, and racism. Now yeah. it's all in social media. It's right in your face. And it's not just when you're sitting on the couch watching TV. It's all fucking day in your face while you're looking at your phone and it is so, so you see where i'm going with this it is very much a portal that programs you to tune into whatever you're focused on all the time see you know and I, it's like what's crazy about it now is that a good example would be like it just happened to sophia and i we brought i forgot what we brought up some product like oh something because we were having our wedding and all that just like something like that and then boom it popped up as a fucking ad yeah. on her phone yeah when i'm the one who said it mm -hmm. right so if you think about it what you're describing the social media is doing itself it's scanning and hearing and listening to you and in that hearing my big question too is not only with that right like so people have to realize like there is also no matter how well you set it up they're actively fucking like you need to be pay paying attention even when you're off social media because you're just talking about something and then when you go back on it's picked up that fucking voice it's picked that up and it's fucking trying to fucking nab you into some dimension sell you it or it could be a bad thing and fucking go into that mm -hmm. but the weird thing to me is like when covid happened right like why and I, I posted a video on, on instagram as a reel of like remember when i was calling this shit out back in 2020 i'm like they're going to be targeting these kids and even the fda board before it got approved all the shots they four people that were part of the fda said no to the shot like no, right away and then they fucking like got the fuck out because they're like this is not good because it they were noticing that 15 to 17 year olds it affected most and then what did i hear during this fucking hearing 15 year old there was 13 13 year old girls fucking in within seven days they're fucking getting like 37 percent of them are seeing fucking nudity within the first seven days fucking another like 50 percent of them are having body shame issues by the fucking first week and then like 17 percent of them are being actively fucking asked to participate in a sexual act yeah right mm -hmm. and it's like the same thing with the covid shot like look at how many young kids myoc myocarditis and the men the young girls are having fucking i saw so many deaths over the last week because i follow all the like suddenly died fucking things mm -hmm. all these girls with terminally terminal four like fucking horse stage four cancer at 17 years old 16 years old in their ovaries or whatever that young that's never happened before. it's never happened before yeah. now you're already doing this why are they targeting the teens i mean that's what's the most craziest thing to me i've ever fucking seen is like one of course it's before going to if you are going to go in the military with the war shit they're pushing right now they just don't want us to have young kids to go well two they also if you think about it with the college situation it's like they don't want to it's like what are they going to do with that like None of those colleges are going to get the money back from fucking Biden supposedly just con continuing to say, yeah, yeah, just we don't worry about your loans. Is that because there's not going to be colleges to go to anymore? That like, like that's kind of the weird shit I'm starting to think about. I was like, why are they targeting these young kids? 
Uh, well. And so hard. And I, I know that some people might be like, oh, to, to fucking indoctrinate them. But this is beyond indoctrination. This is sexual assault and usually ends up in death. Or they were talking about the suicides fucking that all these, especially women, right? They're targeting women. So that means no, no babies. Mm-hmm. So that's part of the population agenda. Oh, yeah. It's part of every agenda you look at. It's like the common theme is really lining up and the exposure of it now is just like you've been saying, like they're just going to start fucking saying it. And now they're just saying it. And it's just wild to me. Just like today, I didn't even want to bring it up, but you know, oh, Joe Biden fucking is going to go into a a fucking full campaign about Iran Mm -hmm. and then FaceTimed, which we never saw. Right. So they like take the family members of the three service members that died and show one mother crying, like, do whatever you want, President Biden. But like, was it just a black screen and Biden, is that an AI voice yeah. like saying that? Or we didn't see Biden on the FaceTime. Mm-hmm. Or even if we did, like, I've been looking at some of his videos after I saw that fake picture. And I'm like, this motherfucker's in front of a green screen of, in the White House with the door behind him. It makes no sense. He's standing up and you can see the bottom of the door and fucking, it makes no, like, it doesn't look real. I'm like, Go to his fucking ex, go to his Instagram and go look up these videos that he's putting up. He looks different in every video too. Mm. It's like the Britney Spears shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, they, they have to have something. They have to warm us up to, because everything's about to get locked down again. And I think that this time it's going to be the real fucking deal while. And again, I, this is, I hold the firm belief that they're, they're going to be cleaning up the last bit of the shit mm. and from, from all the research I've done, listening to people that I trust and the truth community that there's going to be like martial law. There's going to be tanks on the streets, but look at yeah. fucking Texas right now yeah. with the fucking feds not allowed in and Texas having to fucking be like, you're not, you're not looking after fucking the American fucking people at all. It's like the opposite of the civil war where like states were seceding now states are fucking call, like blocking the federal government because it's been taken over and it's not fucking doing well. It's the opposite. So now the federal government's in civil war with its own people. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking like mind blow shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think everything's going to be locked down. There's going to be fucking tanks on the streets. From what from what the description. Now, here's another thing. You, you want to watch out for anybody that, that in the truth community that says a specific date. So the people I follow don't give dates. They just say it, you know, at some point. What's going to happen is that... Except your astrologer, buddy. You know? Well, yeah, but we will more than likely get an emergency alert that will say you have like three to six hours to get to your home and you have to stay there. And then everything is going to be locked down from seven to ten days with military on the streets. And then everything's probably going to crash. Internet, phones, everything. I, I mean, I hate to just disrupt you in the middle of this, but what was the other big thing today? was the FBI director, Christopher Wray, warning the whole American people that the CCP is already vi- has viruses in all of our infrastructure, our banking system, economic, our fucking trade routes, our fucking infrastructure, our electrical grids, our fucking airplane fucking and communicate comms. So not just cell phones, but also airplanes travel. So fucking pilots to fucking have their planes fall out of the sky. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That, that all happened today. Yeah. Yeah. I ran the Iran war fucking thing. Oh yeah. We're going to do a long campaign fucking. Oh yeah. Fucking CCP's already doing it. And then fucking exactly what we're talking about the social media all one day. So you're yeah. my, sorry yeah. to interrupt, but I just had to no, say no, like, that's fuck, cool. you know what I mean? But yeah. And, and, and this is just what I've heard from sources that I trust over the years of listening to people say that things are going to happen and they end up happening that, you know, everything's going to be locked down. Everything's going to crash. Everything's going to shut down. And then eventually you'll end up getting some kind of notification where you, I, and I don't remember all the details and the schematics behind it, but you'll be able to go get a new phone. Everybody's going to get a new phone. And I think it's going to be those phones you was telling me about that one time. The, the, they're going to be the quantum phones, Q phones. And, and they're going to be integrating that into society where everything is done on your phone. Your bank is on your phone. You vote on your phone. Like everything is done through. It, it doesn't have to be a phone. They say it can. Some people have a watch. It can be a watch, a uh, phone, maybe an earpiece. And yeah, and but but you know, in order to roll out the new system, they have to crash the old system and lock everything down. 
And yeah, I don't know exactly when it's supposed to happen or how or what, but it feels like from everything that I've researched over the past two or three years, it sounds like they're gearing us up for it to happen pretty damn soon. I don't know, but it's feeling like it's coming down the line, man, like real soon. They're already hitting us with this shit. It's not even fucking February yet till tomorrow. Dude, man. Well, it, what's, what's really kind of creepy about the astrology is like the date that I'm looking at is like the what the fuck moment of the end of February. The same transit happened in 1965. And that is kind of weird to me because it's like, wow, like that was like right after fucking. It was either 64 or 60, I think it was 64. 64. And, and like that's right after JFK fucking got assassinated and it's the same Jupiter cycle. And so the same Jupiter Saturn that happened with JFK in 1960 is what Biden had in 2020. But it's like all inverse now where yeah. it's like it was the oldest president or youngest president that's the oldest. And then it's like there's something fucking weird where like JFK was going after the deep state and then yeah. it fucking was born. Yeah, yeah. Like hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Now it feels like under Joe Biden, it's going to die. And he's fucking like trying to be the, their last breath yeah. of it or the AI version of him or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. But the astrology that I'm talking about is like really interesting because it's to me almost like I, 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 I would agree with you. Like I could understand if they had to fucking go at it, but really what it would be would be like a fucking beyond a, like a world, like the, the, like the term is also used world war four, right? Like, like we've already been in yeah. World War Three. That <laughs> World War Four would happen, and like they, it's like the, the shit, like shit would be going down. Yeah, right. Like like shit, and, they, and like that's where I'm like, you know, where are they going to throw the alien thing in again? Right. Like it, it's like that's the whole weird shit because coming up here in this next couple of months, right? Congress is about to go back into. They're fighting the deep state. Literally, they're saying that they're not able to access all the fucking shit right like that the, the, the all the fucking department heads are like no no no, you're not allowed to fucking see that's mm -hmm. what all the congress people are saying on the uap task force now that are investigating it at least so it's like is that is are they going to use that as like an extra you know i'm like i'm like man this shit's getting you know where it's going to feel like a movie because it's going to be very pisces or saturn neptune pisces and then people getting really lost and of course you know they've moved everything now into look at the social media thing, right? Like, so they're, so it's like they're cornering social media to be the way that government wants it to be too. So I'm not saying I'm about the, the fucking pedo shit or anything like that, but there is also the weird like conspiracy of like, it's weird because all the people asking those questions are tied as politicians to the biggest pedo network fucking ever and have allowed it to go through ever. And it's like, they're putting all the blame on the social media as they used it. And it's like, they're turning their back on him in a way. It's like, he helped it. So he's like, he's no better. But I thought it was weird. Like, it's almost like, yeah, what do you mean? Stop looking at us. I mean, you look at the Senate fucking walls, right? Those are all the fucking pedo fucking shit, right? Like it's like, yeah, so it's like kind of weird to me where I'm like, this is like, they're really trying to fucking get it to where, oh, you know, like digital ID would be about the internet. That's what they really want. They want that fucking digital ID to be like, you can't get onto the internet without fucking proving who you are. So they're like, you know, like doesn't, you wouldn't be able to be like, well, I'm hiding my IP. And then you, it would be more like I'm hiding my IP because I've created a fake fucking identity to get onto the internet. It's like, because then that way they'd be like, well, no more 13 year olds on Instagram, you know, like you have to be 18. I mean, that's where I'm thinking they're kind of at. And also they brought up a bunch of this new, you know, protect the children law for what's happening online. But a lot of people don't realize they're going to get rid of a lot of the protections that are valid in tech and social media and so forth, where it's like, if somebody let's say it's not about child porn, but it's about like, you're, you're doing your freedom of speech, but the government finds it like, oh, you're going against our VAC stuff. And then they'll hold Facebook liable, right? Mm. Now, now it gets to a place to where we're going to lose our speech too. So that's, what's kind of like the weird fucking thing is with somebody who does this for a living. I mean, right now we're actually, for the, we're, this is the first time we're also streaming on rumble because 
my my account actually did get a strike. I just fucking I just showed Rich. I just yeah. fucking submitted because they want me to go to fucking training. <laughs> over something that it's always done and every other fucking DJ monetizes the, off the tracks the way that it's done. I didn't do anything fucking wrong. It's, it's always worked that way. And it, it, so anyway, long story short, we're streaming to rumble, but of course always on high vibe, but that that's what's like what I'm thinking about is like, man, you're right. Something's about to go down very military wise. Cause then it's not going to be like a COVID lockdown where it's like, Oh, I'll just watch my, TV and we'll go on the social media and we'll just do the, the, the no no it's going to be a whole new like yeah <clears throat> a whole new system and it looks like this is like the end of the social media we all knew yeah that's you know? that's uh, cool but it's kind of scary especially for people like us you know because it's like well, right what are we going to do you know because I mean at the, at the, when 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 we say the system has to crash we're talking about like every system that 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 we know. From the internet to telecommunications to everything, because they already have all the other systems live and running. It's going to be pretty much run off Starlink, I'm pretty sure, once everything crashes. And that's not even on the earth. That's in fucking space. You know, right. everything is going to be run from outer space. And, you know, what is social media going to be? And not only that, but, you know, being able to get paid by doing things like with the new financial system. I would imagine, because if you look at what the overwhelming majority of the financial flow is, the, the, is, is advertising. Advertising and commercials and ads and shit like that is what makes so much money flow everywhere. And, and in a new financial system, I wouldn't imagine that that system would still run that way, would you? I don't, you know, I keep thinking of like right now, like let's say if you're going to go on YouTube, like we're on, or if you're going to go on Facebook, like, or, or some other site and you want to log in, they always give you like, you can log in through your Google account, but now they've added, like, you can log in through Facebook. Facebook. You can log into Instagram. You can log into TikTok. You can log into, right. That's like where they, I think they're going to pressure all these fucking social media companies to be like, you need to create a digital ID Right. So you, so they'll give citizens like you could do it through Facebook or you can do it through Instagram or you can do whatever. And people don't want to lose that. And I feel like that's going to be the new shot. I don't want to lose my social media. That's how I get my brand. And every, that I think that hits everybody. That's how I communicate. That's how I hit everybody up. That's how my business markets. That's how it, or it doesn't matter if you're an influencer or not, right? Like everybody uses Facebook and Instagram and all this shit to market their brands and market their companies or their LinkedIn. Right. So th think of that being the control system now of like, OK, well, we'll do whatever you want, government. And we'll fucking turn these fucking things on to where, yeah, people have to fucking verify, not just to verify like, you know, oh, here's my ID. And that's a verification, like a full blown verification system that knows this is your IP address that works with your IP. Like if, I, if you're with Cox or with you're with Time Warner, or you're with fucking Spectrum or you're with that. It's directly. We know you're that motherfucker. That's how they get you on the CBDC. That's how you get, they get you on that fucking crazy shit. And that's where I'm like, like I'm like, you already see how they've been rolling that out with like, oh, log in mm -hmm. using that. That a quantum financial system, I feel like the first one is going to be a con. It is. Right. So that yeah. they're going to say, keep your, like, if, uh, like, uh, even me as an influencer, that's why I build High Vibe. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Bye bye to social media. I have no problem if they, if they want to try and do that shit and have me do it. That's why I've been screaming to the fences to everybody on YouTube. Look what's fucking happening right now. Or look what that meeting was about. They pushed down hashtag astrology or hashtag tarot or hashtag spirituality, hashtag manifestation. They said it out loud two years ago. No more fucking making advertisements about this shit. Right? So they already push us all down. Unless you're not fucking talking about anything except like the card and being like a fucking little robot, a Biden robot. Cause we know there's some of the channels out there that they fucking, all, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they fucking don't do shit. Yeah. So if I get like, okay, they, they get all the views, right? And it's just like, and then they make deals with fucking like horoscope.com or fucking, you know, tarot.com or all these little fucking things. Right. And like fucking sell bullshit that's where I feel like those people are going to be like, Oh yeah, I'll do this. No problem. Just like the shot. Like here, fucking here's my arm. Fucking here's my life. Like whatever. So I feel like 
that financial system that's the real one that would be positive and spiritual would not be on any of this dark shit that has pedo involved those platforms that all have it it's, it's not it, it was in every platform that's what bugged me is like they only picked on fucking zuckerberg it was like because they have the data with that but with tiktok there's all that same shit with fucking the old twitter there was all of that so well, I saw, uh, mm, you know. was that you the other day that was showing me or did Leah show me the other day uh, where they were grilling a TikTok guy over that too? Um, I thought it was you that showed me that. Maybe it was Leah was showing me this video where similar to what they did to Zuckerberg. This was just yesterday, the day before they were lighting into a TikTok dude for, uh, for, you know, all the fucking data that they steal. From right. Everybody. And, and I don't know. I oh yeah. That was, that was from like six months ago. And then they grilled them today because it was actually like two years ago they started it. And they said, oh, okay. and then TikTok saying, Oh, we spent billions of dollars, right? We have all 2000 employees and we, we make sure that, the, that all that data and the keystroke data, cause TikTok's the worst. If you have it on your phone, Every and I have it because we all we all have it. Let's be honest. I mean, I don't. But oh, you don't have it at all. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like it. I just I've tried to experiment so, you know. with it and play with it, and and it's just it. I, I now I had a, a an awakening experience uh, TikTok that I would put the reels on there, but it just takes so damn long to upload it, and just some it just. Well, I'm sa- I'm saying as long as as long as you installed it once on your phone oh, ever. Okay. Yeah, I did once, but they have all your data. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Including how you text the stroking, like how you go through apps, what apps yeah. you like, what you say, what you do, what your pictures are, what all of it, right? Like that's yeah. what TikTok is the dar- dirtiest dog. That's why like the government's not allowed to have it, right? Mm. And they said today that the watchdog group said it's still, you, the data is still going to the CCP and he fucking just went, no, uh, the media could be wrong too, <laughs> right? He was trying, that was a smart move to be like, oh, that's fake news. Cause you know, like, yeah. and he was saying it to a Republican too, like, oh, that's fake news. But he's like, no, the fucking shit's fucking here. So if you think about it, this is where there's, I think a positive quantum and that goes whether it's financial to computing to you know, all parts of life. And then there's this dark quantum, like that's, yeah. let's take your data. Let's determine how you're going to spend. Let's see if you fit into the fucking, you know, DEI ESG score shit. Mm-hmm. And, and now that's getting, and look at the farmers right now in fucking France and shit. They're fucking in Germany. They're fucking putting the manure Dumb in the doo-doo. streets on the fu- so nobody can go on the streets and now the military has been called so already the tanks are out in fucking france as of today mm. and they're calling all the farmers are calling on people to fucking revolt like the french revolution back in the same fucking pluto transit so it's already happening with what you're talking about fucking what's happening with the farmers out there but you know what if anybody gets asked to do anything especially oh make a digital fucking internet id thing through any of these social media companies fucking that's like the shot and just let go of it even if I, even me as an influencer i don't care people know where to get to me i feel like it's kind of like an alex jones moment when he got taken off for years right i was like infowars.com that's where i'm at you know what i mean and it had to, he survived yeah yep yep they're gonna roll. like remember it's terror with rich.com you know what i mean <laughs> remember it's highvibe.tv like you know what i mean like that's where I think people have to go. And the weirdest part, so I'm an Apple developer. This happened th- today too. So this is a true story. I get the developer updates of the always the next iOS, right? So I'm on 17.4. The developer account in Europe has it to where you can do third party stores now to download apps that aren't in the app store, right? In Europe. In America, they're getting ready to roll that out and they're going to monetize off that. But also that means infecting your phone, your apples with viruses of shit that they're not looking at. Because the one thing that's nice about Apple is it's fully secure. Like the app process is very difficult on Apple. On Android, I have pictures of iPhones as my, on the high vibe app. Yeah. And they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They, they, they don't check it. But fucking Apple if you don't even have the lettering spaced right and the exact shit, right? You, you don't get on it. If the, and then they test it many times to see if there's bugs or if it fucking crashes and if the content's right and all that shit. The other crazy development is in cars right now, my new iPhone update, cause I'm a developer, Apple CarPlay 
can control your camera of your car now and show it in the new Apple CarPlay. Hmm. It can fucking show you all your engine data hmm. and start doing all that. So they've already, they're already going into that world on top of it. Hmm. And then the new Vision Pro comes out this weekend for those that pre-ordered. I pre-ordered mine, so I get mine this fr- on Sunday. I have to oh, go in. Man. And then I had a facial scan multiple times. But I'm almost kind of like with Apple, they're the only ones that are encrypted to where the police are so pissed at. If you have an Apple phone and you've turned on the full encryption where you have a key that the police can't even get in. They can't even crack it. Mm. For your pictures, your data, your text messages, I have that shit turned on. Most people don't know how to do it. Every device in Apple has to be updated to the most highest thing and you have to agree on all of them. Or I had to take like old, like this computer that's 2017, anything 2018 and below, you have to take off the Apple ID in order to do this, right? But there was one more thing with this new uh, development. The third party stores that, and then with Apple Vision uh, Pro coming out, like that's where Apple did not get Netflix Google, so YouTube or this or Meta to let to put any apps on it. So like if you have a MetaQuest VR, it's of course made by Facebook, it's got Instagram, but YouTube has an app for it. YouTube denied Apple an app for Vision Pro. So what is Apple doing? Apple's like, well, we have our Apple TV with movies and all that, but YouTube will not be on Apple Vision Pro. So that makes me think like, is Apple the good guy here that's trying to protect our data and then also not allowed to have Facebook as an app, not allowed to have fucking any meta and not allowed to have fucking YouTube? Yeah. Like if you think about it, like YouTube and Google saying no, fuck you because they're pissed that they, they know they got the fucking hot shit. Well, I mean, I heard... Now, I don't know how true this is, but I heard that Steve Jobs was a good guy and he went into hiding and he's not dead. I heard that either he either went into hiding or they killed him because he, he was a good guy and the the dark infiltrated Apple and part of this big war that we've had going on is the good guys were taking back control of Apple pretty much taking control of almost everything. I mean, that's why that's why YouTube came back, you said, and apologized to you or something like that. And yeah, because, you know, the, the good forces have been getting back in there. And, and I'm not saying that they're 100% in control, but they have the upper hand when it comes to almost everything now, you know? So um, I think YouTube might be one of the, one of the last ones that that the good guys regain control of you know through all this but i don't know so like this was a big article because and i i mean i don't well now it's my father my father-in-law sophia's father he's been coding his whole life and he fucking has worked for all these companies and he was working at google and there was this i saw the article and then he got laid off they had this google google lab project to do all these projects to help the world with these cool new innovations and environmental shit and all that they fucking fired everybody just like a week and a half ago, you guys, everybody can look it up. Like Google labs, like fires all their employees. And it was like the good Google shit that they were really trying to help humanity and do good shit. They fired everybody. So something's going on right now where the dark's trying to take their last fucking control. Cause why would you get rid of all these labs with the, the most high? Like he's like one of the guys where it's like, dude, like fucking he's the man. He's already thought of like how the quantum financial system and not only it's about money and work, but that people all should be getting like land and oh, shit, yeah. right? And all that shit, oh, yeah. right? That's what he does. He's fucking amazing. And Google just fired all of them mm. a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So fucking, then I looked at the, being a developer, like I'm like, whoa, so fucking, you're telling me that the biggest fucking new innovative device that's ever been created technology-wise, the Apple Vision Pro, Google said, fuck you and shafted Apple. Meta said, fuck you and shafted. And you didn't see Apple at that fucking meeting today, right? Like, and so it's like, Apple's kind of going, well, Europe's forcing Apple to fucking have this third party market store. America's not. I almost feel like it would be through Apple with their wallet system and all that shit. That's what's kind of weird to me is like there's something there's something dark going on with Google because they're losing all the money 
They don't have the same ad revenue on YouTube anymore. They don't have physical products except their Pixel phone. That's it. Their, their, their Android services and all the Androids, but that Android, like more and more companies, it's like down to like Samsung and Google and like fucking LG's trying again. And like, that's it, right? Like, it's like, it's like all the Google money's just going fucking down. Apple's money's going down too, though. Fucking Meta stock's fucking starting to come down. They're all fucking, it's like bloodbath time now. Like dog eat dog. And then they got the government trying to fucking like seize on the opportunity and like use them again. Like they did for COVID. They did with censoring. If you just said COVID-19, remember that? Oh my God. If you say COVID, yeah, yeah. if you say shot, if you say fucking vaccine, yeah. if you say anything, like, are people not ready to, to realize like that was all like testing to me? That was all like testing for yeah. this sh next shit. You know, it's funny. You know, you, you were talking about Google's products back in 2020. I got an email that said, claim your free Nest Pro, Google Nest Pro or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. I thought it was just some, you know, how the, how back in the day you would get like an email that says, claim your free Xbox or whatever. Right. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. And a bunch of phone right. numbers. So all these people right. spam you. So I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know what? Fuck <laughs> it. I just clicked the button and it said, okay, your Nest Pro will be sent to you in, in five to seven days. And they sent me a free Google Nest Pro. It was kind of like a little Alexa thingy, you know, right, a yeah. box that you could talk to and tell it to play music. Right. And and this was right in the in the heat of the fucking pandemic. And I threw that fucking thing away. I was like, I don't know why the hell they sent me that shit, but I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't have any of those I threw either. threw the damn thing away. So if, if you say that they only have, what, a Pixel phone now? They, I mean, technically Google has Nest. So the thermometers and shit, right? Their little Nest speaker, fucking pro, I guess yeah, yeah. thing, and then they make the Pixel phone, but they mainly own software, which is the Android service and the kernel software, which is in every Android phone, right? So an Android could be a Samsung. So Samsung uses Google Android, right? So it's like Apple, but Apple makes the actual device. So it's like Apple ID, right? Your Google ID, your Google is your your Google ID for fucking Android, right? And then they make the fucking cameras, the Google fucking, I forgot the name of them, but Google, Google camera, like for your house, like, and then the Google doorbell. Is it a ring camera? No rings separate, but they've used ring to use this whole people. I don't know if people remember last year, they used all the ring fucking people's doorbells to like create an augmented reality for them of us. So not Google maps anymore. There's a map we don't know about where they've turned every Google or ring camera into like a fucking augmented reality to see the street, to see the lives and to use it as a fucking firing mechanism to understand fucking environments fully. Look mm. it up. Fucking. So we're, they already know the, the worst is if, if you're, and then that goes in the China thing. If you have the cheaper camera, so not Google, not Ring, not a, an American-based company, but these cheap Amazon-style companies where it's like, oh, have a camera for your house. Oh, it's 30 bucks. It's not 200, 69 bucks. Oh yeah, and it go, all of that was pre-built with data that's going to China. Hmm like TikTok, basically. So, so, so China's watching half of Americans right now in their house, what they're doing, and then scanning that data and putting it into quantum AI and fucking putting together a map for their soldiers. Then the DNA shit, the 23andMe fucking thing that happened. And then again, they warned last week, China can be using a bioweapon if they have your signature of your DNA. What do you think? Well, all the swabs were, they came from China. Mm-hmm. People and I screw. I've never had a fucking test. Never would. Never would give my DNA away ever. Yeah, me neither. And fucking, here we go. Like they, they're reminding people. Like it's like the last 007, the last Bond. Right, was all about the bio weapon of, of as long as they have the DNA of somebody, they could set off a fucking silent fucking you know, fucking crazy like not virus but like a fucking you know you just blast a free bl blast yeah, yeah that yeah. targets just that dna and takes that person out yeah. so they th that's not a conspiracy that's actually fucking the warning from our government right 
And this is all happening right now. And all the people that fell for that COVID shit, I'm not going to go into the past anymore. You already, but you did whatever you did. But we all have to think about like now, right now at this moment, the, the warning shots have all been fired from the war perspective, the fucking social media shit. Obviously, I think there's something weird about the fucking green screen look that's happening everywhere in the media, meaning that we're watching a bunch of it as a show. The positive is that is like, I fucking pray that some of, you know, the hearsay of, you know, and that, but I'm not somebody that gets lost into the Q. I'm not a Q person, right? I'm not into Q. So it's like, I'm an astrologer. So I'm like, eh, like to me, that sounds almost like kind of Hitlerish. Like, oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll close everything down. Just trust us to do the right thing. Like that to me has always been the way communism comes in and how Stalin and how fucking Hitler did it. So like, to me, Q could be the worst thing in the planet. I don't look at it as a good thing, you know, especially there is no 17th letter because the original Phoenician and the original fucking Greek al alphabet never had Q. So like, you know, Q is like a made up letter that really scares me. Well, from what, from what yeah. I've heard, from what a lot of people have said, that if you do the history and you look back, Q started with Abraham Lincoln, they said. It was military intelligence. Uh, but, he, but, the, but he also, Abraham Lincoln, is the only president to ever fucking break the constitutional law fucking in war. Okay. Well, I, so, I don't know about all that. I just know that supposedly, and uh, that, that started with Abraham Lincoln, and what it was was a group of the president's most trusted military people who know all the top secrets that nobody else knows. And Abraham Lincoln had one. Supposedly JFK had a Q team. And then Trump had a Q team, supposedly. I don't know. Um, it never really grabbed my interest that right. much because it's just cryptic, weird shit that I don't fucking understand. So I'm not claiming to believe that it is good or that it's bad. I just, I, it's one of those things that I don't know. Oh, right. It's just not interesting enough to me to like, for me to dive in and like research it. It just never grabbed my interest like that. But I don't know. It, that's what I've heard. That's a thought to play with if anybody wants to do the research, I guess. I mean, well, the, when Edward Snowden fucking did his release in 2013 and went to fucking the press and then gave all the intel that we're being spied on still. And they, they have all of our metadata fucking that's, what's weird is you could look it up. I used to play it in 2020 to people that were obsessed with Q like don't fall for this shit because the CIA has what's called the Q group and they're against the good people. Mm, okay. Like that's, what's crazy. You can watch, I, like I'll show all the clips. Like it's like the Q group has been around as a bad CIA NSA intelligence fucking thing that uses psyops and all that shit. Hmm. So like they tried to psyop the American people to, to think with Barack Obama that fucking Edward Snowden was a bad person. And so, you know, that, that to me, that's why, and that's sad because there's like 150 reddits of people claiming I'm Q <laughs> that like, or not, not that, that I'm Q, but that I believe in Q. And I've always, if anybody's on high vibe or anybody knows, I, I think he's retarded. Like, I'm like, these people are fucking saying, Oh, this 2018 message is what you're seeing in the future. And they're trying to take like one word and then fucking they're using Gemantria and they're fucking I'm like, and they, they, they don't yeah, understand yeah. the way that works as an astrologer. That's what we do for a living. Like that's our fucking MO, right? Like we, we are the ones that do that shit. And that doesn't make sense. Like it doesn't make sense. Nothing lines up. So it's just sad because I feel like that's where, Oh, there's, 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 there's a distrust happening with like, you know, people right now are like, Oh, governor Abbott, uh, he's really part of the WEF. So he's really, you know, part of this whole thing. Like, it looks like he's really trying to fight against, but he's, you know, they're showing videos of him letting fucking migrants in. Cause yeah. right. So it's like, it's like, I'm like, mainly it's more about focusing on our own manifestation and being like all of this shit we're watching is so fucking crazy on all sides that none of it is making any sense. And, and then of course the other thing that James O'Keefe released last week was about a week and a half ago was like that woman who fucking, or that it's like a dude woman, whatever, who released that everybody in Congress, that Madison, that Republican, that who was in the wheelchair, who got, he lost his seat because he claimed that fucking in Washington, it was just sex and drug orgy parties 
that it's true that married couples, right? All the senators and house representatives, a bunch of them, but their ma- wives and all that shit, they fucking go to these crazy parties and that's what they do. And then they get dirt on them that way. And then they fucking force them to vote a certain way. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's like, I, I'm at a place where I'm like, fuck, you know, like, it's one of those places mm. where you got, you got to pick and choose your timeline. Like I said, I think it's like over the past few years, it's been more apparent than ever that, like I said, the split started and then both timelines are overlapping each other. So to, to maybe flirt with a rabbit hole that, that goes really deep, it's hard to wrap the mind around on one timeline. This person is a good guy. And, but it, all you got to do is take one step to the right or left to step into a dimension where this guy's a bad guy. But there's both timelines. There's a timeline where this guy's a good guy, and there's a timeline where he's a bad guy. And we're constantly stepping in and out of different dimensions all the time. That's why, you know, it's so hard to follow. And even me, I'm so, I'm so scatterbrained with all the shit that I have going on in my head at any given time that if I try to follow it, I'll go nuts. Because you see right. one thing, like you find all the evidence you need to prove this point one day. And then the next day you have all the evidence you need to disprove that point. And then the next day you have all the, and it's just like, God damn. That's why right now your focus is so important. And I think we're all being tested. I know I've been being tested here lately as to, you know, what I focus on and what I'm thinking about. And I've been, I've been struggling. You say that, that this fucking Pluto Aquarius shit, I'm feeling that shit, mm-hmm. man. I'm being put through some tests here lately that are really making sure that I'm sharpening my sword and practicing what I'm preaching. And it's not easy. <clears throat> Mind mastery and making sure that you're aware of your thoughts and your focus at all times during these times is very challenging and difficult. You know, it, it is. And I, I think because Aquarius deals with shocks, it's always the shock of like what, <laughs> whatever you think it is, it, it isn't. And what you're not thinking about is what it is. So like a good example is like when a tire blows, it's always whenever you think the tire is going to blow, it doesn't blow. Right. It's like, Oh, how did that shit not blow? Yeah. But when it's, when it's not on your mind at all and you're like, we're going here, we're doing that. And you're fucking like, this is going to happen. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to have a great drive there. There's no traffic. And then pop. That's, that's Uranus. That's Aquarius energy. Unpredictable. Right. So fucking people don't realize that the deepest unpredictable shit's about to happen. The shit that nobody's talking about, not me or you either. The shit that nobody's thinking about. Mm -hmm. It'll be something that'll be so like, what the fuck? Like, you know, that shocks people. So it's like, it's interesting to see that people have this like, oh, I know what it's going to be. And it's like, like, I hate to say it. And then what I think is disproven the cute thing really hardcore is their Twitter, fucking their ex account. They posted like, you know, we're, we're, it's quantum now. And they put a picture up like of LA, like in the sunset. And then everybody found that it was some picture from like five years ago. And that it was like, they were just stealing somebody's picture. Everybody's like, you guys are bullshit. They're like we're here right now. And this is the quantum doorway. We he, look at it. And it's like, it's a picture from five years ago. And it's by some person. And then the person they contacted him. And this person's like, I just took this picture and put it up on fucking image check or whatever. Like, so they, they're claiming that they're opening doorways and they just took a picture of it and all this crazy shit. And then they're just stealing somebody's random picture that they liked. And yeah. they, they just got caught on that. So, well, I mean, it's like, I'm like, I'm like, I, I just, you know, well, another to, to, to one mm-hmm. thing that I did here too, is that the cue that everybody is following now is more than like, supposedly the real cue. And again, this is supposed because I don't have an opinion on this. I don't know. And honestly, I don't really care, but these are sources that I do trust. Yeah. But supposedly what I've heard is that when Q very first came out and started doing those drops in 2017, that the real cue that the good cue supposedly was only posting for like, I think they said a year. And then it stopped and then it went poof and then they quit posting. Then all of a sudden it, they start posting again, like a year later after like a year break or something to the effect of that. And then it was all different. Everything yeah. was weird and, and they weren't saying the same things and they were putting different messages in there. And some of the information wasn't lining up. There was a lot of discrepancies, you know, and that, that supposedly the, the dark infiltrated the Q thing to, to steer the truthers, in the wrong direction, supposedly. Now, I don't trust that Q shit on X because it's fucking verified. Right. I don't trust that. In order to be verified, well, I mean, 
you have to send them a copy of your driver's license. They have to know who you are. You have or, to s- or or uh, if you're on Apple, you just have to buy through an Apple ID account, which that that would be like, who's the Apple ID account for that? Yeah. So then it would be revealed who they are. Yeah, supposedly the, you know the I mean? real Q are supposedly top secret. Nobody on the planet supposedly knows who they are, but they have a verified social media account. That, to me, is bullshit. So if I was to try to formulate an opinion i would agree with you that yes i i don't any q shit that's being posted on x or anything like that that's crock of horse shit but i do kind of wonder if maybe in the beginning it was intended to be a good thing and got taken over that that kind of makes sense to me is that does that make sense at all i don't know no i mean it, it does i remember the guys that were doing the the board it used to be a fucking like blog board yeah. post right and like the guy one of the guys was like in japan you know, and fucking then they did this whole thing on him and all that shit. But it was kind of crazy because a lot of them got out because a lot of them promised this shit. And then the time didn't hit when they showed. And then it was like so many people got off and then people were like, oh, I was getting fed bullshit. Like, it looks like it was a government entity telling me that, that, that they were a good thing when really it was something for me to tell them that was bad. So it's been... That's the thing is you look at 2013, you look up the Q group, it's a CIA fucking agency and they fucking literally have been, they do psyops. And that's the other thing is like um, right now, like the, the project Mockingbird, like the government knows how to fuck and manipulate people's fucking brainwaves oh, yes, through the yeah. movies and the TV. Oh yeah. And that of course has been turned back on in 2013. So like, not Mockingbird itself, but the ideas from after World War II that, you know, you, you can't propagate to outside of America anymore. Like America's allowed to propagate to other countries now how we are being shown or how even to our own people. And that's what's happening right now. So like legally, they're allowed to fucking tell you Joe Biden's the president and then p- make a play that he is. And make and, yeah. and make you to believe it, and then not 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 be true. So that's true. But I think what's crazy is it's moved from like the TV movie thing to the television, social media, political arena of the movie now. You know, and that yeah. that's where I think it's gotten like. Like it's all a, like that. That could be the biggest what the fuck ever is like over all these this next twenty years of Pluto Aquarius is like realizing that was all a fucking movie and everything that people thought or they got pissed at their fucking they won't talk to their uncle about it or they it was all a fucking show. That would be fucking the ultimate to me. What the fuck, right? That all of it was bullshit. Because like, I, and I hate to say it too, but you know, it's out there like Trump wasn't in court half the time. Have you seen those pictures of, and it's on the media, the media shows it of those pictures of Trump in the courtroom in New York, but it's not him. It's oh. not him. Like you could tell that's a fucking mask oh. and he looks way younger and he's got no wrinkles on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's a body double. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, so even Trump is fucking wearing masks oh, and yeah. shit. Yeah. So you got Biden as the AI thing or, or we're in 2024. The fucking cameras are amazing. This camera is better quality for you and I mm-hmm. than what they're showing us of Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Literally on CNN, on everything, uh, you know, it's fucking really fucking weird. Like it's 2020 fucking four. I know that that's what tells me that I know I, I, I kind of, beat this drum a lot but that's what tells me that it's all a show because they wouldn't because if you think back in the day before the pandemic and all that shit the the dark side went to extraordinary measures to hide what they're doing i mean oh yeah the technology they would use was so insanely convincing how come now all of a sudden they're just accidentally fucking everything up and and letting biden's mask 
flop under his chin. You know, did you ever see that video? And yeah, or his, or it, it, his double chin on the fucking Air Force One, yeah. like supposedly Air Force One, and it's like, oh no, what when he's coming back from Israel? Yeah, why? Why all of a sudden now in 2023 and 2024 is is are they using being so sloppy with their AI and and doing shit that that you could do a better job with a green screen here? Than I what know, they're fucking doing. Why, so why would they do that? You know, or or the Britney Spears thing too. It's like yeah. that, be, or the Taylor Swift thing. Like they intentionally do that to get people riled up. Like it's all set up. Like if you still believe the NFL is actually playing sports, like that shit's all fucking yeah. to get everybody. And I was thinking, I don't know if you ever saw like the Dark Knight, like in all that series, right? And then like the last one where fucking Bane comes and takes over the fucking field and blows up half the fucking football stadium mm -hmm. and fucking puts a nuclear bomb in the fucking city and fucking goes, all right, and takes the one scientist left that could de-do the nuclear bomb and goes, you're the last one who could do this bomb correct. He goes, yes, sir. And he fucking pops him in the head and goes, all right, the trigger is someone and one of you have the trigger under your seat. Nobody leaves the city. And they block off the fucking city. And I'm like, with this Super Bowl, I'm like, This seems like with all the shit they're doing that they're ready with the way they've put Taylor Swift in to make everybody come in. They they have the Chiefs and then the guy, his her boyfriend's the main fucking guy making more money from Pfizer commercials than as an NFL fucking player in the Super Bowl right now. That's about to be, right? Making more money off the Pfizer commercials. And then you have it with like the San Francisco 49ers, the one city that had shit fucking everywhere and then it was super clean out of nowhere, right? So I'm like... Hmm. There's obviously some sort of setup here at this Super Bowl that's going to be fucking on. And then we, you know what? All the programming, every Super Bowl, what do they always do? They always use the halftime shows as fucking programming. Like in 2020, the programming was they fucking put out the weekend with all the fucking AI robots and shit that fucking were like fucking behind them. Mm hmm. And, and then that's when Daft Punk quit because Daft Punk helped him with the track, but I know the whole Daft Punk story and they fucking predicted this with their movies and they exposed all the fucking actors or, or all the bad fucking people and then they quit supposedly, right? Right after they exposed the weekend. So it, it, to me, it's like the predictive programming. People are like saying, you're not hearing this on X right now. You're not hearing anybody talk about this, but I feel like there's a Bane style event of like a, whether they want to call it from the migrants or another country or Iran with the whole Iran thing that fucking is about to happen here with Joe Biden supposedly, right? Or fucking that, what better way to encapsulate the whole people? Because what, 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 what do people watch TV for left? The Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and with everything happening right now, and then that you have, this is the first time you've ever seen that people are, it's like the fucking Stanley Cup we were making fun of last weekend, right? Yeah. People are fucking watching the NFL because of fucking Taylor Swift. Or because they had the Detroit Lions fucking who lost. They had Eminem there flip off the fucking crowd. Right? So that's another psyop to me too, like to get people to be like, oh yeah, I got to watch this fucking one. This would be a good one. And then that's where they're going to fucking launch some sort of coordinated fucking gnarly event. I mean, I, I have absolutely seen leaked footage of higher ups. Well, kind of like uh, the, the Veritas things where, you know, there's a hidden camera of somebody uh, from, you know, one of those leagues in professional sports and whatnot talking, talking about how like every game is like they, they pick who's going to win. And the NBA, of and course, the NFL, yeah. That's not an actual game that they're playing. Yeah, when the refs do the bad calls, like, and then hello, and then the, everybody goes, "That was a bad ref call." And they literally make bad calls on purpose. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's all a big show, and it just it's just so funny now looking back because man, my whole life growing up, I, I liked sports as a little kid. And then once I grew up, I was kind of under the impression that, you know, sports, you know, a, a team of people playing with a ball, that's something you like when you're a kid. And when you grow up, you grow out of that. And we got better things to worry about than people playing with balls. Apparently not, because everybody stays very obsessed with that. And I, and I could never. So, like, my birthday, it's not uncommon at all for my birthday to fall on Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. happened many times. And I've almost been kicked out of parties because I go to Super Bowl parties just because it was my birthday and there's right. free beer. They'd be like, who are you going for? I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't even know who's playing. And they're right. like, what? I'm like, 
I don't fucking know who. I don't care. Who, whoever has the coolest looking jersey, I guess. And they're like, what? You, you don't like to watch grown men toss a ball around a room? What is wrong with you, man? And I'm like, fuck, dude, what is wrong with me? And like, I came, <laughs> I feel like I was born with this like bullshit detector that will not allow me to get interested in stupid shit. It makes no sense. <laughs> right. I always felt like something was wrong with me my whole life. I'm like, what is wrong with me? And I would sit and try to watch a football game I'm like i'm gonna get into this man i'm tired of being so weird so i'd sit and watch a football game and i just can't pay attention to it and all i see is hur, hur, hur. and then the, these dudes are beating each other up over a ball and i'm like okay what's going on oh dude, dude, the quarterback dude, 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 dude. and i'm like i can't even pay attention to it because to me it's so stupid and now now in in 2024 i'm starting to be like maybe there wasn't anything wrong with me you know, because back in the day right. when I was wanting to like commit suicide and shit, it's because I, there's something wrong with me. I'm not a normal fucking human. I don't know what I'm doing here. And I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going off on a tangent now. It's just kinda no, I, I think it's a good tangent because I feel like if we take the social media situation, we saw Democrats and Republicans not fighting, but loving getting off on fucking beating them up. Yeah. To me, I'm like, Hmm. If I were to think of like how AI is working right now, and I've said this one for four years, it was 20 October, 2019 that the quantum computer came out by Google. Right. And it looked like a fucking alien. Yeah. It looks like an alien. And then it's separated by six feet apart, fucking huge fucking thing. So everything that was looking. the COVID thing is, is exactly what the quantum computer is living. Hmm. Stay six feet apart. There's a virus I don't want to get the virus. Get your anti-malware virus protection by the code that we embed in you that everybody gets. It's like how you would code like, a, you know, like your virus, antiviral, right? The vaccine is like, make sure you have your McAfee on, right? But the weird thing is, it, AI is so fucking quantum now, literally, that if you were to give it the scenarios happening and take off the restrictions that are on for the consumers, right? It would say unify over social media, pick one thing that both sides have to fucking agree on because they, there's an election coming up. So the pedophilia and the kids killing themselves and all that shit in order, because like, let's be honest, you want to avoid that shit? It's not by giving your trust into the social media companies and the government of how they're going to do it. Why would you put your kid on fucking Instagram? Man, it's like, 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 like it's the same thing with the shot. Like why? Like, Oh, you can be all pissed at, I can't believe they told, they told me it was going to be safe and all that shit. Like you shouldn't have fucking got, walked into the arena. Yeah. That's uh, right. So like, so like to me, I think it's horrible and it's fucking a cesspool shit. But you know what? I have a daughter who's not old enough for that shit yet. Well, so yeah. fucking guess what? That's where it's like, oh, I feel all this shit can be avoided with being like, no, not going to participate. So like same thing with football. Are you one of those guys who's like, I'm going to make sure that my kid loves football just like me. It's like, that's like, it's like, it's like narcissistic. Like the, the, most people don't realize that narcissists are not the ones like the players and the people that these girls complain about. Yeah, it's the yeah. parental narcissists that are trying to make their kids like them. Yeah. Yeah. That's the number one narcissist in the world. Like, yeah. and, and most parents try to do it right. Like I am not going to force my kid to be an astrologer. I'm yeah. not going to force my kid to do what I do. Yeah. What, what does she want to do? Like my parents gave me that option. I played soccer. I played every sport, but soccer was the first like one, right? And I went, fuck no. First year, I'm like, fuck no. I had to run around, kick a ball. I hate this shit. So my parents were cool. and like, yeah, don't play soccer. What yeah. sport do you like? And I did the sports I liked. So that's where I feel like all oh, oh, the football thing. It's like, are you really indoctrinating your kid into this shit right now? Are you really indoctrinating your kid into that? Are you really indoctrinating your kid into this or to that? Or you really, you know, the social media thing, it's like you really, you're going to put your trust in the protection of fucking 
social media companies and fucking what they're doing. And to be honest with you, we already know that the government went in over all the Twitter files. They went into the social media companies for the vax and forced the social media companies to do things. So are they the ones that should be fucking pissed at Mark Zuckerberg about fucking all this shit when they're the ones who forced him and took over the controls? Guaranteed they fucking went in and took over the controls for the pedophile shit. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a, a nerve wracking topic, too, because a week from tomorrow, my daughter turns 13 and she wants an Instagram because she's 13. And just today, me and Leah were talking about what are the ground rules we're going to set? So the first rule she's going to set is Leah. Leah has it all set up on her phone. So she controls everything on my daughter's phone, like how much time she has. She has a time limit per day she only gets like six hours on the internet she gets one hour of youtube and she's going to get one hour of instagram a day and she's asking me so what what how do we set ground rules like who can she follow and not follow and i'm and i'm racking my brain i'm like i don't even know how the fuck are we going to police that how are we going to like she's like do we like not let her follow celebrities and i'm like "I, i guess it would depend on who it is She's like, what do you mean by that? I'm like, I don't know. Like, how, how, how do you police a kid on social media? That's what me and Leah were going through today, trying to figure that out. And it's, it's got my nerves racked because my daughter's real impressionable. You know, she's, she's caught in the middle of, of listening to us tell her the truth. You know, we're not, we let her do what she wants to do, but at least we want to plant seeds of truth in her mind. We tell her what the fuck is going on, but then she still has all of her friends. She's in middle school. She wants to be cool and fit in at the same time. So right. she's got that tug of war going on in her head, listening to, to, you know, my dad and my stepmom tell me the truth, but then wanting to be cool and fit in with my friends. And now she's going to be on a social media platform where, you know, she can see all the stupid ass shit and, you uh, topless girls and shit like that and start comparing herself to other girls and i don't know man we're just we're i don't can i can i give my two cents yeah yeah i think that you're a lot like me i i'm a couple years older right i'm three years older yeah so for me i was on the internet when it fucking first came out yeah and i was on aol and in chat rooms when i was 11 yeah I was meeting girls off the internet at 12 by scanners and scanning my fucking wallet pictures that (laughs) I took, you know, in seventh grade in school and scanning it and then mailing it to fucking girls and then making sure that they mailed me a picture that that's fucking them. Yeah. And then meet them. And then I had my dad drive me to the movie theater and I go meet him. Yeah. And then that was when the internet was wide open. And that's how I found astrology, right? Like I fucking literally found astrology from being on the internet and the Mayan calendar and shit. I mean, but that was when it was a world where, you know, I mean, the chats were crazy. Fucking, you know, like ASL, ASL, fucking they, and yeah, then, yeah. but like, and then you just, <laughs> and all it was, was my, was your bio, you know? Yeah. That was it. So if I could like, you know, if I were to think of it, I would be like, what were your experiences? And, where you know the lines for you were like i went through this and being honest and being like this this doesn't work this is what you know you're getting catfished like like get back to this the basic shit to kind of like go you know don't like i remember one time i was 16 years old with my buddies we were at like my buddy's house his parents were gone and we were like on aim Cause that's like, you know, my space was like about to come out, but it was mainly still aim and chat rooms. And so like, we were fucking trying to just find some chicks to come over, you know? And I remember I got catfished for like two years off this one chick. She was just like, you know, but back in the day, you're just fucking on aim. So there's like, I don't know, 50 chicks you're trying for all the time. Right. You're just fucking, Hey, what's going on? You're in, mm-hmm. I am and I am and I am. And I remember I sat one night and waited the whole night for this one chick and whatever. And fucking, I was like, well, well, well these, they're, they're like sixes. They've sent, they've scanned pictures. Now that was in the scanners when they came out and they go, you know, like, eh, I want to wait for what the 10 looks like. That, that chick turned out to be a what? You know what I mean? I got catfished. <laughs> oh, and I remember, I remember after I found out, I remember being like, I wasted like fucking like five times, like where I could have like gone out or gone out with the chick that was like at the school next door or whatever. Because I was just like fucking believing the bullshit of a catfished person. You know what I mean? Like, and back then it was too hard to tell. Like all the voice on the phone shit. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. So I, I, I think it's like, I mean, I, I wouldn't have my life without exploring the internet at 11, 12, 13, fucking 14. 
uh, you know, and I, I, I was fucking doing fucking, I was fucking prank calling, but I was doing fucking minor hacking shit and blowing up computers of kids that were, you know, if a kid didn't like some kid and their parents could, if I could get the AOL fucking email address or the screen name, I could blow up their computer by frying out to where it would blue screen it and it would reloop and keep redoing it. If it was plugged in, just restarting, restarting, restarting until it fry the motherboard hmm. and it would send thousands of fucking IMs the second they would log in to their computer. Cause people forget that the windows 95, that beginning in windows 98 with aim you, most people like when they logged in would the aim would automatically turn on and log them in when cable internet came out and I would just fucking literally send them an IM bomb that would never stop sending IMs and it would fucking freeze. It would overload the Ram it would, and it, it would freeze and then they'd hard start. And then it would, I'd have it to where it automatically change in the bios fucking automatically kick and then it would fry their computer. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been in, the, I've been in the, the worst of the worst seen the worst of it all out there and I'm okay. But I think, but I think it's like, if I, could tell a kid, I would just be like, we didn't have this whole, like we had MTV, right? We had like, you know, TRL, but it's like, I didn't want to be Carson Daly. Like I was a fucking stupid idiot. It's like, it was really easy to see the idiots. When we remember we were young, it was like, oh, you're up there fucking with the teeny boppers and you're fucking like high-fiving the boy bands. Like as if you're, they're your best buddies. Like, yeah, that was pretty easy to see, but we had the good contrast of like good bands. Like we had the contrast of fucking Soundgarden and fucking like all, you know, we had, we had contrast. There's no contrast. So now it's all blurred into the Una, Una social media, like aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And it's like, maybe just trying to show her that a real person is not going to look like what is trend, whatever's trending on Snapchat, whatever's trending on Instagram, whatever's trending on YouTube is the opposite way to go. Like literally, like do not like like the, the whoever the person with the most followers is is the least person to follow. Yeah, like well, you know what I mean. Like like I don't know. Well, I mean, it, it kind of concerned me a little bit because for the past couple of years, my daughter's been begging me to let her upload her own YouTube videos, and I'm like, no, no, you know. And and she she's been really wanting to put videos on the internet, and I'm like, for what? Because I want to be a, a popular internet person. I'm like, for what? Why? Oh, I think it would be cool. Why? Yeah, I couldn't get a straight answer out of her. I'm like, you know what I do for a living, right? It's not that cool. Like, it, it, I mean, I make a living doing this, but it, it doesn't change my life. Having a bunch of followers on the internet and a lot of people knowing who you are isn't going to improve your life. She doesn't get it. I would think that by her seeing me, you know, and what I do for a living and, and that, you know, people know who I am on the internet and see that it's not that special. Like, oh, my dad's just a regular person, you know, whatever. That's my dad, that she would understand that reality, but it's, it didn't, it's not clicking in her you, head. You know, what's not clicking in her head is, and what doesn't click into most people's head anymore. It's not just the young generation, even the older generations, older than us. When you were a musician, you had, it wasn't like you just got the big gig to fight for that shit even to fucking open right yeah. for me when i when i was young i went to my first audition when i was fucking 12 or 13 and i didn't even want to go on the audition my stepdad at the time was a fucking actor so he was like it was the summer and i was out of school and he's like you want to come up to me to hollywood i'm going on a couple auditions gonna go check out my agent and i'm like yeah i want to just see what it's like and then they were like oh are you here for the sears commercial and i was with my brother and they were like no, we're not actors. You're like, you guys are perfect. Go audition. Then we got callbacks and all that shit. And then my parents took me or my to, to this like young, like teens actor fucking thing. And I remember looking at it and like seeing the other teens in there and being like, I'm too nervous to do that. You know, like I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that shit. But th what I'm saying is these kids and these old people today, they forget like, so for me, I'm, I, I was in reality TV before being a social media person, right? Like I'm, I've, I've been on the biggest TV shows and fucking literally it fucking wasn't because of my, e, e, the, e, to anybody who can't make it big on the internet is a loser to me because I'm like, I fucking had to fucking to go audition 30,000 people and get a callback with 
fucking there was 50 people in the callback and then go through psyche valves and blood tests and be fucking tested on fucking camera tests to make sure that i'm fucking gonna be good enough for to to be on the fucking screen so for me the internet was like oh this is fucking easy (laughs) like fucking you you just have to put up a video but like most people, it's like that struggle that people don't realize. And then they get all upset with themselves. It's like they don't have it in the physical reality. It's like, it's like, if you want to go make videos, why don't you go on an audition that's legit and actually make a video that's legit? Cause I notice all the young kids that are doing that today. Like they're trying to get on a commercial or whatever like that. Like they understand the bullshit on the internet shit, but the mm. kids that don't, it's just an instant gland. They think it's an instant track to Hollywood. And we all have that little bug, whether it's in music or in art. I had it. And fucking when I actually confronted it when I was young, I was like, I'm too nervous. I have to wait. And then, I, and then when I find, I was like, fuck, finally, you know, by the time I was fucking 20 and 21, when I got on MTV, it, it, I finally was like, okay. But that was after going to raves and taking shit tons of ecstasy and fucking being on MySpace, being the rave guy, fucking it's fucking Palmer fucking rolled out of my mind. Fucking be like, what up with my tongue out? Like <laughs> that's what got me on MTV. Yeah. And it was me not thinking about going on MTV. So I think if anybody's going for it, you never get it. It's yeah. when you finally have surrendered just how a manifestation, manifestation right? Manifestation one one. So maybe tell her that. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I did just, it kind of bugged me because, you know, I, I assumed, I, I just assumed that, you know, my kids would like see me because I, this was the thought in my head. My thought was like, you know, okay, well, at least when they get older, they're not going to be so worried about trying to be internet influencers because they're going to see that their dad does this for a living and it's it's not that special so at least i'm not going to have to worry about that and then it like backfired on me because it didn't it didn't work out that way so my my kids were still begging me oh i want to put videos on the internet and be popular i'm like what no you know and it just it bothered me that they that 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 they didn't see it the way i had hoped they would see it if that makes sense yeah because they're, they're still able to to scroll on on like a, a, a YouTube shorts feed and and I guess see they see my face on there. And and I don't know, man, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say. It just it just bothered me. You know, I, I, don't no, know I, mean, to, I, I get don't know it. What the right way to guide my daughter through this shit is so that she doesn't get sucked into that bullshit. That's one of my biggest fears in life is is my kids getting sucked into this shit that they're putting out there to target the kids you know i know i know because it's like when we were on the internet it was not so fast i mean for us to want to get a song took all day on 56k to download and we would be so happy if there was enough people on napster or enough people on fucking torrents to fucking carry the download enough to get the one mp3 so we had to wait for the satisfaction. But now the satisfaction, it, people don't realize social media is just as bad as porn. Yeah. But nobody, nobody wanted to say that in that thing, but it's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. So, and then that's what all of in, like Instagram's instant data, right? Of all these young girls, like they have body issues from it. They have su- the highest suicides from it. And that all those family members all those family members lost their daughters to killing themselves because then they feel like, well, I don't look the way that that is. Or you know how many girls went and like, I found this out, but a lot of girls in high school, like thought that the fucking shot was cool to have because the other girls were getting it. Yeah. So they like, then of course, remember Biden and everybody went, Oh yeah. Like, in the schools, you you can get it. Your parent, if your parents trying to stop you from getting the shot, then fucking they could like call CPS on you and all this shit. Hmm. Like, so they put they drill it in, and that's why they use fucking these little influencers and just shit. And then they they fucking get you. And I think it's really really weird now too because it's like I I don't use Snapchat, but once in a while fucking it'll like be like a Snapchat of Snapchat. Snapchat will show, send you something and I don't like, I'm like, well, okay, let's see what this fucking stupid thing is. But I'll be like, what are they doing on there now? And it's like, when you look at the feed of Snapchat of like who they prop up, it's like basically only fans chicks who like, they fucking like have Snapchat chicks who are just like, come walk with me and my whatever. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. And then they have like shows and then they have like this weird shit. And like Snapchat's where a lot of these young kids are on. And I'm like, 
Snapchat purposely made it to where, you know, it dissolves. You can't read the chat on break, right? Like, so, so they can sell whatever, like that's where all the drug sales are at. That's where all the fentanyl sales are at. That's where fucking all the only fans chicks go to like fucking escort themselves out. Right. Like, you know, like people don't realize like the, the whole social media world. And then YouTube is like, there was just a big investigation done by a fucking university that there's 14 billion YouTube videos. 1% is what we all watch and it's by the algorithm. So there's more YouTube videos than human beings on the planet. And all the data is insane that YouTube is what we all watch. What YouTube is actually throwing up that even if you were to search it, it won't pop up the other 14 billion that you can't search for something unless you have become algorithmic enough. Yeah. That's wild. So all of it's a scam. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's wild, man. That's crazy. And you, you know, another thing when, going back to my daughter getting an Instagram and you were talking about Snapchat, Leah said that she thought she saw, she's not sure of this, but that Instagram is trying to do something similar where the chat dissolves. Is yeah, they like have that. Yeah. They have vanish mode. Yeah. Or something like that. That's another thing we were concerned about. I mean, the, the, luckily though, I mean, luckily my daughter is such a good kid, dude. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm sitting here like, I was a horrible fucking kid. I'm sitting here thinking, okay, universe, I don't know why you're giving me such a good kid. I don't think I deserve this. I put my poor grandparents through fucking hell. So far, so far, knock on wood, my daughter is such a good kid. But, you know, you never know. When she turns 13 and she gets into high school, what's going to... So I, I don't think that right now in this moment we actually have anything to worry about. But, you know, we're just trying to take all the precautions like, okay, well, you know, what if they had that little vanish mode, you know, and she's able to just delete her texts and whatnot. We don't think, I mean, right now, as of right now, she's very, very honest. She tells on herself if she does something wrong. She's a very good kid. But we, I mean, like I said, we're just, we're, we're nervous about it. I'm nervous about it. You know, I can understand that. I mean, I, I, it reminds me of like back. You know, my, 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 I was, it was weird. Cause I, I was, I, I was really fucking bad in high school too, especially my last couple of years, like number two in detentions, didn't go to school, fucking sports is what saved my ass. And I could see how people would be like, you're a fucking asshole because I didn't go to school and I fucking was able to graduate because I was a good athlete. <laughs> Literally. So fuck it, you know, I didn't fucking go to school the last two years and my fucking mom fucking was having panic attacks every day because she was getting calls from the police to fucking, you know, and I was doing fucking shady ass shit with drugs and fucking all that shit, you know? But that's what was weird was when I was like 19, 20, like everybody was so scared of a kid going to a rave, yet it was the raves that everybody had their awakening experiences, mm. right? So sometimes the most scary things, but this is different because what looks like it's normal. Like to me, Pleasure Island now of Pinocchio's world is social media. So it's almost like what sucks is, you know, and I'm, I'm going to throw myself and, and it might sound like I'm being a little ego here, but I'm just going to be real. Like I have spent my 10 years building my own network and my own app and my own social media network for the spiritual community. And people always fight me and just be like, well, we have YouTube. And it's like, well, I guess people didn't think about that. Now look what's happening. Now look at kids are dying from it. And like you go on high vibe, you're on high vibe, you know, no, there's no posting of any of that shit. It's all spiritual shit. It's the only place to where you don't have any of that noise. People are talking about manifestation. People are talking about, you know, look what's happening. This is what's happening in my life. Can we get help talking about fucking problems and struggles and all positively finding a way through? Yeah. You don't see that on YouTube. You don't even see that in comments. Mm -hmm. You see people attacking people in comments and, fucking, and, and then videos of people just trying to be fucking fake. And I always, I always, I always fucking laugh at like the big people who are fucking have like millions of views, every fucking video. I'm like, these people live in apartments still. What are they doing with the money? Like they're not, that's confused. like, like, the, why, like, why aren't you building a network to help people? If you, and then I'm talking about even the spiritual ones, like that make a lot, like you fucking can't, 
You don't give a fuck. You I'm say you give a fuck, but you don't give a fuck. I'm glad you opened that door because I've been kind of confused about that here lately. There's a couple of YouTubers that I've seen who have over a million subscribers. Their videos get millions of views and they swear up and down they work at a pizza place. And I'm like, what? You got like... 460,000 likes on your video. I, I mean, I know I've commented. I know they're not going to see it because, fuck, I don't read comments either. But I'm like, bro, your audience is 10 times bigger than mine, and I make more money than your average doctor. What are you doing? Are you, are you putting on a, a – is that a show? Are they, are they bullshitting people just to try to sound humble, or do these idiots really not know how to turn their ads on? What, what, what's going on with that? I mean, that like a lot of people don't realize that there's – a lot of agencies out there that fucking buy a YouTube channel. Remember, I'm sure you remember if you remember like three, four years ago, you would get emails of like, I'll buy your YouTube or I'll buy your Facebook for 200 K. Right. So that's what's happened is people have made YouTubes and like, I have seen a couple of YouTubes of people I knew that it's a different person now and a different name change, but the same amount of followers. But then it has to be an, an agency that's like, we'll give you just like, you know, 20 bucks an hour to do it. And then we'll take all the benefit, but we'll, you'll be famous. Oh, and people don't know that that's out there, but that's out there. Oh, right. So there's agencies that fucking make, and they own the, and, that, and a lot of people that go, I want to be famous. I'm going to go into an agency. There's same thing with modeling. Like if you're a model and you're going to an agency, you're being conned by some dude who's just doing it or in porn. It's the same way, right? Hmm. What happens in porn? The fucking dude who makes his own fucking channel and calls it whatever, like banging moms. Yeah. Right. It's just an escort service where it's like, I'll pay you a thousand dollars to be in this video with me. And, and then, oh, let's contact your agency. And then they take 300 of it because they just put you up as a picture and you're just banging some bitch that you want for the same price as an escort. And they're making a video. They're making tons of money off of it and off the, the chicks that don't get shit. That's what porn is. Mm. So the YouTube market is a porn industry for fucking these crazy ideas that are going out there now fucking for these kids that are committing suicide. And then it's really then going to Instagram after it's like, it's like explored in the YouTube world first. Hmm. If you really think about it, because that's more longer form and they've been doing it for a long time and they know how al there's better algorithmic understanding with YouTube than like TikTok or Instagram. They're, they're fucking algorithms of understanding your demographics. And it's, it's like a quarter of what we get on YouTube. You know, on YouTube, we get fucking like, th they were in Africa in this fucking place and they did it at this time and they fucking, you know what I mean? Like, and they've been reoccurring and they watched 10 seconds of the video and they don't give you that on Instagram hmm. of the individual one view, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they don't have Google Analytics. So that's the thing is to me, it's like, it's these YouTube weird agency people, then they go on to Instagram and the same thing. All these models and shit, they're all part of an agency. You think they make a bunch of money. The only ones that do are the ones that go to OnlyFans and do it on their own. And then OnlyFans has their own agency people and they're not typing on it. That's what fucking the whole entire fucking... Andrew Tate yeah. life is right yeah. Yeah. in the webcam thing. It's all now there's Andrew Tate's that are doing that with porn, but they're doing that in Instagram influencers. Hmm. No. Well, I'm glad you answered that question. That's been driving me nuts for like six months now. Cause there's been a few of them and they're just regular Joe schmoes that just make kind of funny content, whatever. They got a million subscribers, 2 million subscribers. They're talking about, Oh man, you know, I, I work at a pizza place and, and I can, I can barely afford, you know, I could barely afford when I went to the grocery, you know, just to relate to each other and whatnot. And, and I get it, you know, they're, but I, I'm sitting here thinking, are you, are you just make it putting on a fake front just to relate to your audience or what? I don't know. That's been racking my mind. Cause I'm like, there's no way that you're, you're getting. Yeah. Because once you get gold a million and you get, and that higher YouTube partner, that's when YouTube in Santa Monica is like, come in. All right. You want us to be the, if, if, if you go to top trending YouTube videos, right? Those are all people in the gold always. Right. That's where they renegotiate and be like, you're only going to be allowed to talk about this, 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 but you are going to get the best ad revenues. You're going to get the best fucking CPMs. You're going to get the best this, but you got to stay in these lanes. 
And you could use our fucking facilities, right? Like that's one thing that you and I can use. We could set an appointment up at YouTube studios in fucking Santa Monica and apply it our way and use it. But it's like a long waiting list, but you and I, cause we're silver, we can go. And if you don't have silver, if you don't have a silver plaque, you can't do that shit, right? You can't go, but at least we're allowed to use it, but a gold member can go in whenever they want. So where, where do you see those gold people? Why do they have like five camera guys and shit? Those are YouTube fucking peeps. Hmm. Okay. And they're curating the content based off knowing the ads that they want to fucking do it for. So a, a gold YouTuber is a fucking everybody's after celebrities in Hollywood. Now they don't realize Hollywood just went into fucking YouTube and all these fucking people who do. And you could tell if somebody's got an agency because you'll see them and you won't see them have their own network or their own fucking thing. They're fucking just doing YouTube only. And then they fucking have all these people there. Fucking why, how are they getting all these people to shoot them on all that shit? And they'll pretend like they're their friends, even though they're really not their friends or the YouTube relationship thing. They'll be like, okay, you need to go fucking say you're in a relationship with this YouTuber to kind of make that those cross pollinate because we need more women on that and we need more men on that and we need that. Look what's happening with this whole fucking Taylor Swift. That's what they did in Hollywood forever. That's what's happening with Taylor Swift and this whole fucking football dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, and people are like, I don't want to go on to a spiritual network. I want to be <laughs> on the fucking darkest fucking. Everybody calls the dark web the dark web, and really the social media is the darkest web there ever was. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I, I've been on it for fucking a long time, I built my SEO because I knew that's what you had to do. It was legit. You could search your video and find an, any video, and nobody was propped up. It wasn't until Google put SEO in to YouTube to integrate into YouTube or Google search. And when that happened in 2013 into 2014, I remember telling everybody, I'm like, and I told everybody in my schools, I was like, in 2016, I'm like, you need, to, that's why I did the, a video every day on YouTube and I fucking do it still on my apps, but I did it every day with the same fucking shit. So you typed in astrology or you, still today, if I put, I put up deep astrology two weeks ago, that video, deep astrology used to get a million views. It fucking shot my fucking views up because the algorithm already knows deep astrology, weekly, t t weekly horoscope. Da, da, da. It's had so many thousands of videos that it fucking, it's the same SEO. Yeah. So that's how it's built. Hmm. And that's, that's what's sad is prior to that, it used to be a, a, a much more open market, but people, people, I feel bad because people are like, I want to go be a big YouTuber and I'm not somebody to crush somebody's dreams ever. I believe you could probably still get through it, but you're slivering chance now because of the algorithm, yeah. unless you sign your soul away. Yeah. Yeah, those like they're, they're, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. Yeah, though, I mean, like for you me, know? for me, what what my YouTube career was a total accident. Did I did I tell you the story of like how it actually started? Started. I think I may have said it on one of the episodes that I was. This was in in my coming fresh out of being homeless phase, and I was bouncing around living with some friends and whatnot, and uh, I, I had acquired me a thirty dollar dollar store phone. And I lived with this couple, so, you know, I didn't like being at the house, so I would go out and walk around, and, and I would buy alcohol, and I would go find a hiding place outside so I can sit and drink, you know, and uh, I got bored, and I just started recording videos on my phone, and one of the videos that I recorded was called The Brutal Truth About Aquarius, and so funny you're wearing Aquarius as fuck on your shirt today, <laughs> yeah. and I put those videos on my Facebook, but at the time, I didn't even know how to use YouTube on a phone. But I guess in my drunken mind, I was like, oh, let me try to put these on YouTube, I guess. I don't remember doing it, because I was drunk. So, I forgot all about that. A year and a half later, I had done traveled across the country twice. I'm living up in Maine. I get off work one night. I'm sitting there scrolling YouTube, and then all of a sudden, in my feed, gets recommended to me the Brutal Truth About Aquarius by Rich Lop. And I'm like, huh? What? I put that on YouTube? And it had like 20,000 views, which to me at the time was fucking Yeah, no, it still I'm is. Like, what? I don't remember putting that on YouTube. And, and I tried, I could not remember how to log into that account. So I was like, you know what I think I'm going to do? Because it was the same channel name, Rich Lop. You can still type it in and find it on YouTube now, The Brutal Truth About Aquarius. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a 
Brutal Truth About Aquarius Part 2. And I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel now. And hopefully the algorithm will see my face and my name and recommend this video to all the people that watched the first one. And I tried it on my birthday, a week from today, February 5th, 2018, and it worked. It caught traction. So that's, that's how I started. The algorithm started knowing my name over the year of 2018, and then I got fucking bored and running out of shit to talk about so that's when i started flipping tarot cards and it blew up from there but yeah, but for- see you had an old video from the old days the old youtube they threw up yeah 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 and 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 it, it was an accident though like it right it kind of found me and kind of chased me down and when i look back on it it's kind of weird because it's like this career found me and pushed me into a corner and left me with, like, like as soon as my tarot channel popped off everything in my life started falling apart. The relationship I was in came to an end. I had to leave the job that I was working at. I had no choice. Like, this is my only income or I am going to die. Like, I'm in the middle of bumfuck Maine where it gets negative 30 in the wintertime. I can't be homeless here. I will die. I will die, die, die in negative 30. (laughs) So I was like, I have no choice. This is my only source of income. So it was like, it's kind of weird how the YouTube career found me and backed me into a corner and left me with no choice, you know? So yeah. I didn't, I pursued it when I was in my early twenties. Oh man, I wanted to be a career YouTuber so bad. And then I had that one monetized video and they shut me down. So everybody told me that it's too late. I'd never be able to do it again. So I didn't even think it was a possibility. And then here, right after I turned 30, the year I turned 30, it chased me down. And I don't know, it's just kind of weird how that happened that way, you know? It, I mean, it, it, I think that's the weird how it happened is gone. Yeah. Like, like anybody who's even gotten, like you had an old YouTube video in that old platform or like I've helped, I don't even know how many people I've promoted. Right. Like, and that's the whole thing is like, even when I got on, people at least knew that I used to be on soul garden with Chris Wateki and he was 2006 doing astrology. So at least that helped me. Right. Like, unless somebody's there fucking talking about you too. And then at least if you're out there, you and then a big channel shares like, hey, look at my friend. That used to be the old way. Like, hey, my friend has a YouTube now or whatever. Mm-hmm. People don't realize that's how a lot of people made it was all of us helping each other out fucking talk about each other. And, and that's, that's now at a weird fucking place because it's like now it's like the new establishment of media has gone to, you know, in the conspiracy world, especially, right? Like then you look at Tucker Carlson now, and unless you go through Tucker or then you're on fucking Megyn Kelly or you're on fucking, you know, chief nerd or whatever. And then you're on, you know, these, 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 or you're on fucking the blaze or you're on fucking Tim pool or you're on this, right? Unless you're on those podcasts or on those things or, or Patrick, Bet David and right. Like, or Joe Rogan, like that's the new established media because nobody's watching CNN. Nobody's watching Fox news. Like, yeah. so, and that's how they run it, right? It's like, you got to go through, all the, we're, we're the post, or Jordan Peterson and Daily Wire, like, mm-hmm. and, and Ben Shapiro. Like, th- unless you're in that, you're a nobody. Yeah. And then they have all the leverage, like, oh, well, you can come, but we're not paying your way. You know, they don't pay people. They don't, like, people think, oh, yeah, go on this. And people tell me all the time, go on Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to call Joe Rogan and just be like, have me on your fucking show. Like, fuck it, that's not how it works. Yeah. It's all pre planned. And you even see, like, even on Tucker, he has something pre recorded two weeks and they already know. And then, they, then the other guys know two weeks ahead of what's going to come out. And then they're ready for it at the moment to strike on it with content and all that shit ready. They all help each other. Mm-hmm. The spiritual community, that's what I tried to build with Hive. I was like, we could all be fucking doing it with our own network and doing that. No, no, they, everybody's like, no, I want to have my own thing. I don't want to get controversial. I don't want to get uh, fucking like, good luck. I mean, look at all the fluff. It's fluff. Yeah. Look at J- we were, today. We were you and I were looking up for top podcasts for spirituality. It's fucking. There's like nobody except Jay Shetty, <laughs> yeah. who lied to everybody and said he was a monk. Oh shit! Did he? You don't know about that? No. That motherfucker went up and said that he's a monk and went and lived as a monk and all this shit. I never heard about that. Oh yeah, he's the biggest fucking fraud there ever was in spirituality. There's a there's a bunch of them, but he's definitely in the top. And that guy fucking. 
goes and interview. I forgot who we interviewed. He interviewed fucking somebody recently, Michelle Obama or somebody like that. And I was just like, this fool's just being propped up. I guess they're missing a chef. So hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you know the joke because <laughs> Obama's chef died fucking at his house this summer. One thing that I've, <laughs> one thing I've noticed too that that I've tried to help people who want to start a, a channel and whatnot. If if somebody starts a brand new channel and you try to promote them by sharing their content on your community tab, <coughs> the algorithm will bury them. Have you yeah. noticed that? And have you ever like told somebody start your channel and I'll boost you, I'll help you out, right? And then you do, and then their videos will get thousands of views only when you share it. But if you don't share one of their videos. 10 views I know. 15 views it's like what in the world it's like the, it's it's almost like the algorithm sees that you're trying to help them out and it puts them at the bottom of the list for some weird reason i don't know it's all set up fucking weird and i think it's all intentional you know well and that's why i think that this whole hearing today is like a lot of smoke and mirrors to pull on the fucking emotional strings because we all are against pedophilia and we all, this is horrible what's happening to young kids and the child trafficking, but to implement, it's a, it's a fucking, it's a false flag. That's not a false flag. It's a flag being used to bring in a tyranny. Mm -hmm. Because when you see the Democrats and Republicans all unified today, like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck, oh yeah, this is so bad. And then wanting to come out with a whole new Child Protection Act bill that's going to change the way that social media works that's actually going to fuck us all. Right? Mm -hmm. That's when I'm like, hmm. Especially because that's been my world of building apps and all that shit. And like going back to what I said about apps and how Apple's like being forced by Europe to have a third market for apps like third party market and America's not doing it yet. And, and how Google's saying, fuck you, we won't be on vision pro and all that shit. And YouTube's not going to be on Apple vision pro. The number, why would YouTube not want to be on the most epic fucking visual thing that anybody could have anywhere and watch on a fucking hundred foot fucking screen, wherever they want in spatial audio and all that shit. Why would they turn that down? Or is it really Apple turned it down because they, they don't want to be part of the dirty corrupt shit or, or, or I don't know, but like, I'm not going to say like, I know, but as a developer, I know that there's something going on when Google just fired all their lab fucking coders for good shit, Microsoft and, and open AI are fucking embedded. Now Microsoft's like the big fucking company again, or look at Nvidia and they're the number one company on the stock market. And they're all the fucking GPU cards that fucking run AI and video games. And who does Microsoft own the biggest video game companies, Activision now and blizzard, right? So that means your modern warfare or any of that shit, call of duty, all that shit. And fucking right. And then Microsoft owns fucking, uh, that game that you Minecraft and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. So That's where this is getting to where people aren't seeing the bigger picture that they're using Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all that as like the, they're really like the pawns of the bigger Microsoft, Apple, you know, what they want to be done and what the government wants to be done. And from what it looks like, Apple has resisted the government by saying, fuck you, we're letting people protect their shit and encrypt it to where you can't get access, mm. right? That even happened in the San Bernardino case in 2017 when those two people fucking, those two fucking ISIS people fucking killed a bunch of people in San Bernardino and then fucking they couldn't get the access mm. through their Apple and then finally the FBI fucking had to get a FISA court warrant and fucking force Apple to give the data in the phones. That's how, so to me, I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, there's something going up here where, you know, Apple ha has some big surprise that they're going to do and, and fucking like everybody else has revealed all their parlor tricks except for, oh, you know what? Like having Mark Zuckerberg stand up and turn around. And as I told you, he had no empathy at all. Like those were parents of people whose kids committed suicide or were child trafficked and killed. And he just went, I, I, I'm so sorry for you all. And, um, I, I, that's why we put better systems in to make sure that it doesn't happen to people like you. Thanks. <laughs>
That was set up. Yeah. That was set up. And 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 like people are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep being on these platforms and I'm gonna keep just letting it all happen. And then really they're gonna use it like COVID. Like and if or if you want to still use this, you've got to do it's like taking the shot. You need to do or and wearing a mask. You need to fucking be part of the digital. That's why Twitter did a verification ID, or did you notice how everybody talks shit on Twitter yet? Instagram. Oh, anybody could be verified now, right? Yeah. But what's cool about Instagram, because I got verified the hard way with 12 articles that you have to be in the media and all that shit, that when you click it, you could see the date in which I got verified, right? And anybody who got verified in 2023 was paid like you, you, and, and did the just, oh, let me show you that, right? But it, yeah, anybody yeah. before is the old. So I've never had to do any of that shit. Same thing with my Facebook. It's like, it's, you know, like it'll show the date of verification. They did that for all the celebrities and all the people let you know, like, Hey, okay. They didn't buy it, but that's, what's weird is they followed lock and step. So having a verification now is not a big deal. Yeah. That was the, that was the subtle way of, Oh, get ready to get into the internet. The old way that AOL used to work. And if we want to use the astrology, we're coming into the astrology of AOL with Saturn Pisces right now and windows 95. It all came out with where we're at with Saturn right now. In 94, they were building that because Windows 3.1 sucked. Kurt Cobain just killed himself. I predict it's Justin Bieber who's going to commit suicide this year. I know that might be horrible and I hope it doesn't happen. But if there's anybody that has the exact same charge as Kurt Cobain, the same transits and the same shit and has the weird obsession with his fucking wife, who obviously her fucking family, the Baldwins, will do anything to stay fucking in the biz. Yeah. I'm not going to be surprised when I see Justin Bieber be the Kurt Cobain thing. He was trying to, he was even trying to look like him. And then I did a whole study on my, my astrology schools. He's even drawing on his shoes like Kurt Cobain. He's even fucking doing the whole thing and having the weird grunge look right now and being depressed and having all the weird shit. It, people don't realize that Taylor, Taylor, uh, whatever her fucking name is. Taylor fucking Swift is fucking, for the football thing, for some event that's going to happen there. And then there's going to be out of nowhere, a Justin Bieber incident. Is Justin Bieber 27? He's uh, yeah, he's, he's older. I think he's 29. He's about, oh. he's in a Saturn return at the same time. He's that. born with sun and Saturn and Pisces. Oh, that'd be interesting. And it's face. about to hit hard, hard here. And I, and I think my prediction was in February into March of 2024 then for my high vibe schools. But again, I don't tell all this people on YouTube because it's like, it's like, that shit's worth so much money. The fucking value of the information and the research. I'm not going to just give it all away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, it's, it's, it's going to be like you said, it's going to be so unexpected that it's going to shock everybody. And I'm just sitting here thinking, yeah, well, I'm probably, uh, I might end up having to get real <sighs> acquainted with my RV over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's just where my mind defaults to. If they start saying you have to have a digital ID to get on the internet. All right. Well, I got an RV parked right over there in this studio. <laughs> what do you mean? It, were you where we have high vibe? Do what? We have high vibe. Well. I don't know, man. Like to me, I look at it like you know how many fucking astrologers and tarot people are going to come crawling to this fucking place? There's no, there's got to be some reason why the universe has had me sit here for seven years with this huge, and this is the seventh year. This is a seven. The address adds to a seven. I'm a seven. Fucking, and I'm like, I look at this place. I'm like, thirteen thousand square feet with all these empty chairs and fucking two hundred seats, a fucking stage, all this shit. Obviously, I was like talking about it with you know, cause I got married yesterday, like about our future. And like at the end of this year, if it's not changing here, like we're just going to go get a property somewhere and move is $15,000 a month for just the rent. Yeah. Right. And then it cost me seven plus thousand dollars for the app a month. But good, like, I'm like, okay, like either the universe and, and the people are going to get it or something's about to happen where the universe is about to bring every tarot and astrologer to fucking come begging to be on this fucking platform, just begging because they have, they're they going to have nowhere else to go to where they can, they don't have to fucking do it. And it's exactly the same and even better. It has its own social media and everything. That'd like, be cool. like, and that, and like, that's where I'm like, huh? And I'm not going to fucking play like those fucking people and be like, Oh no, I do it where it's fucking 50 50. Yeah. Like, 
So, uh, you know, like, the, like these people are, 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 are smoking too much of fucking Hunter Biden's fucking Parmesan <laughs> thinking that social media is going to be the way it always was. And it's normal with Pluto and Aquarius. It's just, it, uh, Aquarius rules the internet and Pluto's about to fucking kill the internet. We always knew. Like if you try to go find a torrent site right now, do you know it's just viruses and all that shit you can't even, and then it's like, you could be reported. If you try to what? Like torrents, like the old school, like you want to download a file, but like, look at nobody downloads Adobe illegally because it's got creative crowd. They got around that, right? Like you, you just pay a subscription now and you get all their apps. Yeah. There's nothing you need to get a torrent for anymore. Mm-hmm. We're at a place to where, you know, like it's about to be like the old AOL, like, you know, like you're getting on to Google to use the internet. You're trying to get on your IP fucking when it logs on, it'll bring up a fucking thing through windows or Apple log into your digital ID, your iPhone. You want to use a fucking browser digital ID. And, and then they know what video you watched already. So they're going to be like anybody fucking watching videos about this or anybody putting videos about that or anything, right? Once you're in the digital ID, that means what program you went to on your computer, what picture you looked at, what da 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 we could put you in jail because you did. Hmm. Like, especially let, let's say you're a soccer mom and, and, and you're the dad, right? And like your daughter's in a soccer fucking tournament and you get an email from the team picks. They could be like, you're a pedophile because you have pictures of young kids with a digital ID, even though it's your kids in the soccer thing, but just because that was emailed to you, boom. That's the world they just sold to us today. While as that's going on, Christopher Way saying, oh, but China's, already set up everything to take down the infrastructure. Planes will fall out of the sky. Fucking all this crazy shit, no electricity. And at the same time, Biden's calling up fucking families that just died that are gold star parents down being like, yep, I'm going to go attack Iran and we're going to do, and it's going to be a long, big fucking thing. And it's going to be a fucking big, you know, coordinated effort. And then stealth bombers started flying today with fucking all the fucking fighter jets. Stealth bombers. So, Huh. And then how else are they going to get everybody to go into the military that are young? Digital ID fucking off there. They already, I've already showed this. If you go to um, fucking selective service, like, do you remember doing that at 18? You had to sign up for the selective service. Uh, I don't know. What was it? The selective service. Like every, every man 18 has to sign up for the selective service, right? Like it's by law. Or then you can't get anything benefits your tax return. They'll fucking catch you and go to jail for five years. All that shit. Like at 18, we all as men had to join the selective service. I joined the military, so it was pretty much already done. But like, so every male in America right now, 18 and over is in the selective service system, right? So if there's a war and they do a draft, you're ready, ready to go. Like, and then they do a quote unquote lottery. But the, during COVID, all the COVID money, whenever there's an emergency, that triggers the selective service office to turn on and new funds to come in. And what they did is they used the social media companies. So this is the stuff that they, they're using the diversion of the pedophile thing because everybody's so obsessed with trying to figure that out. And they get, and I, and I agree, I'm not against it, but I'm just saying there's a lot of other things out there that are worse and, or just as bad. And to me, it's the selective service thing that they spent all their money and they saw, oh, most of the 18 to 24 year olds on Snapchat and we know exactly where they go. And we actually, so if you get caught aiding and abetting trying to do a draft dodger, like back in the Vietnam War, it was a lot easier. It'd be like, hey, just come crash at my fucking cabin up in the woods that it's not registered under my name. It's registered under my ex or something. You know what I mean? And just go live up there for a while. They won't, nobody's going to find you. Now, everybody's traceable by their phone, by where they were, by all the metadata. So if you're like, oh, I'm going to try and avoid it with my kid. You're going to jail for fucking five years. That your kid's going in and if they resist, they're getting put into a fucking Leavenworth prison, fucking military prison will still be put in, but be going through military prison and be used for the worst of the military. So that's what people are not 
waking up to this moment right now. I mean, like, oh, fuck. Yeah, they will. You know, <clears throat> they will. That that dark timeline is going to is going to show its face. Like I said, what you said uh, a little bit ago about how the first financial system they roll out is going to be a con. It is. And we have to reject it. And they're going to they're going to do everything in such a way that's going to piss people off and freak people out so bad that they're going to stand up and wake up and fight against it. But the, the, what they've been trying to do for the past four years is wake everybody up so that they don't have to get that crazy. But not enough people have woken up, so they're having to get crazier and crazier and crazier. And then soon, you know, what's really going to wake people up is when they wake up and their bank account is empty. That's what's going to wake people up. Yeah, and that would be a bail-in. That'd be what now? Uh, that's called a bail-in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, we saw bailouts in 2008. Bail-in is when the banks fucking take all your money and reinvest it to save the country. Yeah. To bail in the banks and give them money to move things around to protect and save the system. And they're allowed to do that. Yeah. So, like, that's... And then people think, oh, well, crypto will save me or whatever. It's like, no. What are you going to... I'm sorry, but all the crypto people are on their fucking iPhones with Coinbase or all these other things. And the only smart ones, which again, only like 1% of fucking Americans own crypto. It's something stupid, small like that, right? Yeah. And out of that 1%, most of them are on Coinbase or on fucking Robin Hood or any of these stupid places or on Venmo and bought crypto or something. They don't have a fucking cold storage. So, and they don't know how even how to work it. They don't even remember how to do the pass key. They don't even know how to update the fucking every wallet has to be updated in the fucking drive constantly with ledger live and all that shit. And, and you have to do it with an IP fucking make sure that you don't know. So nobody knows and can never steal your fucking keys for all that shit. And people, so people aren't, that's like so far from people even understanding it that like people are not going to be, people aren't going to be like, Oh yeah, here's some crypto fucking, and I know how to send it to you and fucking do it right now and verify it on my fucking little fucking USB fucking ledger. Most people are fucking retarded. So that's where, again, Coinbase is going to have to fold because they're a public stock corporate and be like, oh, yep, yep, digital ID, CBDC, da, 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 stable coins going to have to do it, all that. And then that, and like, you're, we're going to, it's like the shot. Like when they were show, David Dyke showed the best video. Like, do you remember there was the commercial where there was this 25 year old woman and right when COVID came out and right when they were putting the shot out that she's just like breathing with a vet on and she's going, <laughs> and then, and she dies and goes beep. And it goes, COVID can happen to anyone. And they I were pushing that, that commercial fucking on YouTube, on everything. Right. That's what they're going to do. Like you won't be able to buy gas. You won't be able to do this. You won't be able to do that. And it's like, I'll figure, we'll figure it out. There's, you know, there's always, there's always ways. It's not illegal to say no. Yeah. You know, but it, it obviously today was like, we've already had the warning shots, but today was, there was something different about that. But when you say there was something different about how they just like, really like, here's our, here's our fucking next move. Like, well, boom, you know, I, I don't know what I, I mean. It just surprised me how, how hardcore they're doing it. Like they're going all at it right right away i was thinking like going into to like the winter of 2023 when i'm preparing myself for all this shit you know I, again I, i'm looking back to 2020 i'm thinking okay what was the playbook they used in 2020 they started mentioning covid a couple of times on the news in december and and in january they talked to me you know and they they, they led us up to it real slow before they ripped the rug so i'm thinking that's going to be probably something similar in 2024 they're going to start kind of dropping little hints here and there about what they're going to do. And then by March, then that's when they're going to rip the rug is what I was thinking. But no fucking January is not even over. I know they're, they're fucking hitting hard. I'm like, God damn, dude, how fucking crazy is this shit going to get? Or, um, I don't know if you saw it, but UPS is firing 12,000 yeah. employees. Yep, yeah, I saw that. And they just did their whole strike and said, oh, everybody's going to make more money and make 180000 as a driver. Da, 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 da. And then, so like all these people that are like, oh yeah, I'm going to be part of like a fucking union are retarded because they, they say, yeah, we're going to do it, but we're going to 
oh, thanks. Now we're going to cut 12,000 jobs. Yeah. So now, you know, you already have Amazon who's like what, trying to get rid of packaging. So they just, if I don't know if you know this on Amazon now, they're like, yeah, we're just going to deliver the package unpackaged, like just as it is, like in the box, like, you know? So everybody's cutting. And then, the, and then that was the other thing. The feds didn't drop the rates. They just went, oh, we're going to keep it here. And so everybody's been like, yeah, they're going to drop the rates. They're going to drop the rates. The fucking Fed is just keeping it fucking go the rates high fucking on purpose. And that, and so right now people have no, they're ready to fucking, if you, if UPS is getting rid of people, we're watching the recession in front of your face, turn into a depression. Yeah. When you're that big and you've sold that much and you've done, and you do that much shipping a day and you can't even keep 12,000 people on. Mm-hmm. And they're saying it's been the worst year on record as far as like transactions oh for, for them to have fucking of shipping shit. And you're like, wait, what? But you think all of the fucking companies that stop making shit in China and stop making shit in America. And there's just not a lot of fucking shit left or how many I go to Walgreens or CVS and there's rows gone mm-hmm. of stuff in every state that I've been into. Like, it's like nobody's getting everything in pharmaceuticals. Not like this is, this is, this is not the road that, it's all the fucking funnel it. You're right. They're going way too hard. Like it's like almost like as if like they were like, they're like trying to get off being pedophiles in the government, like fucking like, like hardcore, like, yeah, fucking, I just went through, you know, pedophiles and on, I went through PA <laughs> through fucking Christmas. So fucking let's get on them. Now I had enough. I had 28 kids. Fucking, I'm good now. Yes. <laughs> let's get them. Yeah. You got your fucking coin? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking 28 days fucking without a fucking kid. <sighs> like, and let's fucking pin it on these motherfuckers. Yeah. As they're the fucking ones doing the ring the most. And then forcing the social media companies to do all this shit. I'm surprised that they didn't hit back, but I, I, I you know what it was? I was, when I looked at Mark Zuckerberg's face, it was like, you motherfuckers, like I fucking know what you guys have done and I'm not about to fucking get my ass killed. And then you and I were talking about like, okay, like he's building a bunker in Hawaii. Yeah, It's not because of the end of the world. It's because he doesn't, he doesn't want to be killed by the government or all the people coming after him at yeah. the same time. <laughs> That's why he's in Hawaii because it's already hard to get there and already the way that travel's going is not going to be easy. And then let alone... Nobody's going to be able to get to him. He'll just be in his little fucking bunker with his meta quest on like, hello, I'm in the meta quest. So it's not about, oh my God, the end of the world. They know something that we don't. They know more of that. The world's going more wild and crazy and they don't want to be in the middle of all that. They don't want to be in the middle of a CBDC war and a fucking Chinese fucking weird shit happening and and to be honest like there's something about it to where i feel like they're just not gonna be around it's like the end of yeah social media yeah I mean, i'm I'm kind of glad that they're hitting it that hard yeah. that fast i'm glad because i've been sitting thinking man come on let's just get this shit over with let's just do it and it looks like they're doing it so i'm like good come on let's get this shit over with <laughs> let's, let's just know. do it let's get it done let's get it over with let's fucking crash it all and and just get it over with. I'm just tired of sitting around waiting on it. I want to fucking get it over with and get this fucking new world in here. I want to get my fucking job done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's get this fucking new world in here, man. But you want to know, and I've said it before, but not many people have said it. I've, you know where the legality that even the Congress people probably know or they're stu- too stupid enough not to know. Facebook, when it was Facebook, bought Instagram in 2012, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a photo app. Still to this day, if you look up social media, you will not see Instagram. You have to go into the photo photography section. It's a photography app. It's not a social media app. But because Meta, so Meta is the new name that he created to have Facebook and his parent companies, Instagram and WhatsApp, right? Because he bought WhatsApp too. And then he did VR. He bought Oculus, which was a, just a regular company from a guy here in Newport Beach, Palmer Lucky. And his sister married Matt Gates. So fucking what people don't realize is Facebook's positioning to VR and going to say, yeah, we're over it. And we'll just use maybe the social media aspect as the login. 
Like that's what, why Elon Musk bought X. It's not for free speech. It's to a login for Starlink that has all the systems for that without having to build it. Right. Right. So, and then, and then if you think like, well, where's Facebook? Well, that's part of it. Instagram, that's part of meta. So it's like TikTok's the one where it's like, well, I don't think anybody's going to be, so they're just trying to survive and they just are like, well, we've got all the data we can sell to you back. That's what China's going to do, right? Like we need money. You want all your data back? You know what I mean? I know the keystrokes of every Senator. I know the keystrokes of every fucking kid and every adult in America. I know what I've got the pictures. I've got all their fucking shit. Uh, you have to start looking at it that way. Cause like, that's how it's going to go down. And that's going to be gnarly because that's going to be like, the end of social media as we knew it, know it. And then people having to run and find platforms that actually are real and did the work and are humans that care about the fucking area of their life. And they were too stubborn. And they just wanted to be on my free Instagram and my free this and my day. Well, you weren't free. You got like kids are dying. People are fucking, you know, stealing from other people. People are fucking getting in fights. People are fucking having all these like, self-worth issues because of what somebody else has more followers or somebody else did a fucking thing or that's why instagram got rid of the whole like remember when you could see like oh your friend liked that picture and they like that and all that because of all the fucking divorces that caused and all the best friends and all the fucking uh -huh. right that everybody's supporting these platforms like that just like already we get fucked as YouTube. people think, Oh, you make money off YouTube. It's like people like YouTube, it, it, we get 55%. They take 45%. Yeah. So if you make 10 grand on YouTube, you really made $19,000, but they took nine grand of it out. Yeah. Yeah. Or if somebody super chats you, right? Like if somebody super chatted right now, me 50 bucks, I get fucking, it's like $23 oh, yeah. of that. Yeah. That's right. What, that's, that's it's like, so it's like, it's like, it's like these, it's like really like these are the companies that people are supporting and it's yeah. like, well, I get to see all the fluff. Oh, okay. See all the fluff. Yeah. That's why I never understood okay. those tarot readers that, that do readings for super chats. I'm like, what are you doing? Just do it through PayPal. You don't keep none of that. That's why I never like push for super chats. Oh, give me, send me a super chat and I'll answer a question. You know, matter of fact, pe people do that sometimes. They'll send a super chat and ask a question. I know. And, and I don't read it. I'm like, I don't, I don't read for super chats. I don't do that. Like if I, if I, like this one time I tried to go on and I was just, just for the hell of it, just to be nice. I went and I was going to do free readings just for the hell of it, just to be cool, you know? And everybody starts sending super chats. I'm like, nah, I got to stop this. I got to, cause I, I don't keep none of that. You know, like somebody sends you five bucks. I'll, I'll tell them, thank you. I appreciate it. But you know, I'm only getting like a dollar or something of that. And you see, I've seen so many of these readers, they'll get up and they're like, all right, super chat for, I'll answer a question for five bucks or something like that. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You're missing out on so much money. <laughs> you could be doing that like on PayPal or Venmo or something like that, you know? And I don't well, know. why do you think the government's coming after people for transactions over 600 bucks? Because all the PayPal Venmo people that are trying to run businesses, they're going to get them hard and be like, do you know how to do your taxes? Did you have a tax guy do this? Did it, uh, oh, and you're a corporation and you didn't report that or an LLC or you're just an individual. You need to pay the fucking self-employment tax now. <laughs> so that like that's stupid. And then the crazy part to me is like the webcam fucking companies like my free cams in 2013 they're the ones who came out with the tokens and like oh i'll show my tits for 75 tokens or 150 tokens when you look at youtube they the the, the porn fucking heads that made all that shit went to all these social media companies yeah and they taught them those ways so when you're super chatting you're like a fucking it's like a porn like oh yeah i want to fucking see you you read me the way and get my i want to get your attention it's yeah. the same fucking thing it's like being at a strip club being like Hey, look at me. Yeah, I want a lap dance. Will you come home with me, please? No. You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? And, and this sounds so horrible, but I'll do this. But when I see somebody just trying to get my attention, super chatting me, I start ignoring them. Like if they send me the first super chat, I'll be like, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. And then I'll go to the next sign. You know, like I just did Aries and I'll go to Taurus and they send the same person sends me a super chat. Thank you. I appreciate you. Then I go to the next sign. That same person sends me a super chat. I ignore it. 
I ignore it. I'm like, no, no, you're not going to just pay me just to give you attention. I don't, I don't do that. I don't like that. That pisses me off. So please don't do that. Anybody out there, <clears> don't <throat> waste your money because I'm not going to, you don't pay me just to give you attention. That's not the way it works. I just wanted to put that out there. Right. It gets on my nerves when people do that shit, you know, and there's people who will. I've had and there's questions of the accounting of super chats because they say that they show it, but you know, I've known that, oh no, I had this super chat and this super chat. And then especially because I do spiritual dance music, people send me on that and then they'll be like, no, we de we demonetize the video because those are the artists that you they played. They're making the money off of it, which that's how it works. And then fucking they pull the super chat money and they keep it and don't give it back to the customer. Yeah. People don't realize that that's happening. Yeah. That there's no accountability. We don't know anything on the YouTube side of things of like who you are, what your email is or anything. And so they get away with just like, oh yeah, like, or Facebook, like all, everybody knows I was the first one to start fucking live Facebooks because there was no live to YouTubes. And I have, it's insane. It was 50, 70,000 views. And it'll say that if you click it, but now it'll not say views. It'll say one view, but it'll yeah. have 2,000 comments. One view, 2,000 comments. They took away all my views to demonetize me. That's wild, isn't it? And I've showed you that before. Mm -hmm. Like I've never seen anybody else have that. I'm like, this makes no oh, fucking it, it sense. It to me too. It's it fucking crazy. Like, Cause I saw a lot of YouTubers thinking that something was wrong with their YouTube. They're like, I just had 500 people in there and it says I only have 30 views. It does that to me too. Now, every time I end a chat. No, no, I'm talking about five years ago. Oh, okay. My Facebook live six years ago were the number one on Facebook. That's what made me so big was Facebook and fucking I was, nobody had the fucking technology to do it. I went and spent the money and did it and had multiple cameras. I've been doing it since 2016. So you said Facebook. And so Facebook, like oh, all those old videos that have 70,000 views now say one view, <laughs> but it has 2000 comments. Yeah. Yeah. So they just wipe the views away and then I don't get Facebook checks anymore. I get, you know what I get? I get every month. It'll say Facebook 22 cents. <laughs> I'm like, they fucking don't want to pay all the people still watching all those old videos and all that shit. I'm like, this isn't like it, it, it's at a place to where I'm like, it's falling apart mm -hmm. and they just, now the government wants to use it for something else. They just basically said, you funneled like the, 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 I'm surprised that the social media companies didn't hit back and be like, because they asked like, who were the people doing it? Like, who are the pedophiles? Did you record all them? And he was like, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Like how many people clicked? Like, yeah, let me see the yeah. content. No, I don't know. We don't know. And then he said, oh yeah, we, we, we report the people to the authorities. So I'm like, that means, you know, yeah. but then they never asked them that back, but because you know what it is? The people watching that is the government people. Mm -hmm. And and so like that's where it like they are saying you're going to fucking be our little bitch right now because we're about to roll something else out and we want to publicly do it to where it looks like everybody's all about getting rid of fucking pedophilia, right? Which was started by the government people and the government people doing it. And now the government people are going to look like the heroes that are going to fucking take over and change fucking the internet and change social media to fucking unlock their fucking even darker agenda than pedophilia, which is hard to even imagine. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it'll be all right. Let's just go ahead and get it over with. Crash it. Fuck it. I'm done with it. <laughs> Yep. Well, it was great. Uh, we actually filmed a video that we'll be putting out about Bastrop, Texas. Of course, solar activation that we're doing out in Texas, April 7th and 8th. The total solar eclipse. Make sure that you go out. Tickets are at uh, teamlightstore.com team slash Yeah. Teamlightstore.com forward slash events. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, I don't know, two, two or 300 tickets left. It's five plus hundred sold. So let's get this thing going. It's going to be a total eclipse and we're speaking. We're going to have the show there. We just, him and I just, we just filmed the promo for it. Um, and then of course, next weekend I'm at Conscious Life Expo, Friday through Monday. So I'm doing Monday, I'm doing a post-conference lecture. Sunday's my big one. And it's just me and Bashar on Sunday at 8 p.m. So I know everybody loves Bashar and I'm not 
Go if you want to go to Bashar, go to Bashar. But that happens to be every year now. It's happened to me in Vegas. It's happened to me at every Conscious Life Expo. Maybe for one time you want to fucking and I have no problem. I always sell out the room. But I'm just saying that like we we know what Bashar is gonna say. Are you ready to fucking go if you're coming? And I know there's five thousand a year that, that come a year. If you're ready to see the craziest fucking shit for fucking ever that I'm about to present. It's happening on Sunday at 8 p.m. at 3 p.m. I don't know. I posted on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, is the astrology panel that I'm on with Rick Levine's on there. Um, Raquel Spring. Uh, Gemini Brett's going to be on it with this one. Um, of course, Shima Moore. Uh, and then Friday and Saturday night, I'm doing the fucking spiritual dance music live. Uh, 10 p.m. Friday night and Saturday night. So... I'm fucking slammed the whole time I'm there, but well, I'll be there the whole time. You can get tickets right now. Make sure that you, you have to remember that you can get a pass for each day or for all the days. The DJing's free with pass, but the lectures, including the astrology, is more. You can pay at the door or you can pay and get the cheaper price by paying on the internet. So get your tickets now so you don't have to pay at the door with cash for those lectures. So, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if, you're, if you if you want to go to the biggest spiritual event every year of the whole world, it's <laughs> it's happening next weekend. And th how do you think I got here? I, I would have been doing it for ten years. I, I, that's where I've met every spiritual person, everybody, and worked with everybody. And even how I met Rion, that we're doing this team light thing. I've been known him for ten years, all through Conscious Life Expo. Shaman Derek, I met through there. Every like every podcast I've got on because of that. Everything. That's the only place one time a year. If you're spiritual and you're not there, you're missing out on everything. It's the only place that it happens. So. Definitely go, and uh, this is probably the most important one of all time. So, and then same thing for what we're doing in Bastrop because that'll never happen again. Talk about a high frequency portal we got to do in the middle of that total solar eclipse, especially in Texas with everything going on there. It's gonna be wild times. It's gonna be wild, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I got a I got a real important message that I'm bringing. You know. And, you know, like I said, the, the goal was to make this shit mainstream or at least fucking drop the message to somebody who can make it mainstream. Right. You know, so we're going to open some eyes. We're going to awaken some people. Yes, we are. Yep. 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 Light it up. It's time to do the light work. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Follow Rich, of course. He's on the link down below in this video. And I'm on highvibe.tv. And remember, also, if shit goes down, terrorwithrich.com highvibe.tv adios peace